Recording in progress. Recording in oh. progress. Not in progress. Hey, Leonard. Hello. You Hello, do- Carl. Hello. Leonard, how you doing? Pretty good. You're looking pretty fuzzy. Yeah, it's kind of dark down here. <laughs> Your screen is fuzzy. Yeah, no, well, let and me you see. Like if, you're floating. <laughs> let me see if the camera's dirty. Oh, that's better. What a difference that is. A little better. Well, yeah. how would your camera get dirty? What, did you take it with out with you when you were birding or something and you got some dirt, dirt on it? <laughs> it's built into the lid of the laptop. Oh. So when I close the lid, I put my thumb on it. Ah. Oh, that could do it. Yeah. That could possibly do it. Yeah, that uh, that makes that seems like a reasonable uh, process. I just almost completely finished. This is this is all scanned. It's cool. Un- undated Duriandra stuff. And with no dates on it. Everything else has got dates on it. It's all in the other area. And then I've got these I just scanned a few minutes ago and I've just got to crop them and write the file name on them. So I'm, I'm so excited. I'm all, I got through a whole box of stuff. This has been sitting here for yeah, that, months. You, you got those boxes a while ago. Yeah, that I started in July, but that's, this is just one box and I have a carload of boxes <laughs> but this one i finally get um this one has been perplexing me because i went through all the paper and sorted it everything it took months and then i went through everything that had a date on it and i and i scanned it and then i had to check to make sure the scan was good and i had to change the you know file name the file and everything and sort it and put it away but this has been that pile and then maybe a pile about that half that size more has been sitting in a box of undated so i yeah, had that to makes it, it that makes it really hard to figure out what to do with it well i had to figure it out so half of this i probably got 100 or so i had to figure it out you know you read it and it says something like you know uh, when i was at the castle with you blah, blah, blah. And it has some kind of reference to something happening in the world or it happens that you can date it. Like when you got back, when I, like when Jerry went to, I know he went to Japan twice for lectures. So it's either like the 1970s or the 1990s. So if he's referring to either of those, I can kind of figure it out. So there's ways of figuring it out, but um, you know, so I'm just excited. I'm so excited. (laughs) got something huge 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 done well that's good yeah he had this this is really funny gary was very odd but he got into this disagreement with his group and (laughs) one of his magic groups and it was i don't even really know exactly what the slight was but they exchanged letters for a long time and i've seen the letters and i read them and back and forth well, it turns out he had a copy of each one of the letters bound and he put it in one of these file folders so that it was like a reference. He's got it and you know, it's all together so that he had this this action against these people in his group. But the really odd thing is is they're not in dated order. The first first page is 1988 and then it goes 1989 and then the end page, the last page is of 1977. So you think if you were trying to get a this like, this is not an obvious pattern. 71, 1971. Yes, yeah, so you would think if there was a, you know, if you wanted to summarize this whole disagreement he had with this group and what happened and emails and mails, not emails, uh letters back and forth. <laughs> yeah, 1971, probably order. not email. Yeah, but you would think they'd have them in order. Well, they're uh, maybe they're in order of how much emotion they elicited. <laughs> I have to reread it. I just scanned them. I, so I'm going to make a file just of them together as being in this one folder. So that'll be nice. Right. Hi, James. Hello. How are you today? Pretty good. Are, are you near that mountain? Nope, I'm in Sacramento, but I was up there. It was right there. Recently? Uh, last week. Huh? Recently? Yeah, uh, last two weeks of uh, visiting my daughter and son-in-law. They live in uh, Tacoma. 
Oh, you're Ooh. in Tacoma. Well, well, back back from Tacoma. Yeah. Cool. Keep thinking about moving up there, and you're thinking of moving up there. I am. My other daughter would like me to stay here. My <laughs> one daughter wants me to move up there. Oh, what do you do? How do you choose? You live where you want to live. Yeah, I guess that's what you would have to do. But yep. it's such a shame, you know, when you're, well, at least you're not that far. I mean, Sacramento no. to Tacoma is not horrible. No, it's just an hour and a half flight. Or, so, Or you can yeah, move plane. halfway between the two cities. That's the other option. That's what a friend suggests. And I said, that's like uh, the worst of two worlds. <laughs> Go to Medford. Well, they'll both be mad at you. Yeah. Ashland. That was nice. I've been Ashland. to Ashland and Medford. They're both very nice places. Mm hmm I mean, the flight isn't so far. I know. Gosh, what's wrong with these kids? They're supposed to. They're supposed to stay where you are. Right. <laughs> so you don't have to move. Move around. Hi, Jean. How are you? Hi. I'm hanging in there. I'm glad to see that you're hanging in there. <laughs> Anything new on the horizon? No, nope, not a thing. <laughs> Come on now. Next time you show up, I want. I want something, even if it's oh, even a fake lie. Just make it up. Say I don't know. I, some. You witnessed a bank robbery today and it was you. No. <laughs> Actually, last night there was a grocery store a half a block away from my house that sent up this huge cloud of, uh, yeah, burned. It, it was awful. <laughs> but Thanks. that's not something that I really oh. want to remember. <laughs> where, where have you been? Have you Were you in, in the vicinity? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was not. I was at home in bed, but I could, I could smell the smoke in the air. Ooh. It did. It was a completely destroyed. Yeah, it was really terrible. And what city um, are you in? Las Vegas. Oh, that's right. Okay. Las Vegas, Nevada. I was afraid that actually there were wildfires someplace in the vicinity. So I found out pretty quickly. No, it was something in my neighborhood. Hmm. Yeah, we had here in Big Sur, which is near me, we had a huge fire in January. And it was yeah. like, this is January. I remember, James, you sent me some, some information on it. But it was like, oh, we are, we are never going to get out of this mess i mean if you can have wildfires at the ocean in january right. we're, we're california is very dry yeah hi vincent i see I you got your sprout copy. on just like avi yes i just had to do it uh, i think avi copied you because you were here first no no you were here before avi avi. just came on um i was watching uh last one laughing anybody seen that it's on Amazon Prime, and there's different comedians that try to make each other laugh. And the point different is, comedians? what? Different Canadians? Different Canadian comedians. Canadian comedians. Comedians. Yes. Comedians. comedians, too. Well, no, they had actually different countries. Germany, Brazil, Italy, Australia. They had different, different countries all vying for like uh one was vying for a hundred thousand dollars Ooh, and, and they're, they're trying not to laugh and they're trying not to laugh how do you how do you what do you judge as a laugh do they have it like figured out as in a <laughs> smile or like a? how like much is a, a smile like like you, you, you can't you can't even you shouldn't even smile as soon as you smile, you kind of get you get a yellow card, and then you get a Ooh. red card if you do it a second time. <laughs> then, so the Canadian one was vying for a hundred thousand dollars of um, for your favorite charity. The Australian one was a hundred thousand dollars cash that went to them, kind of thing. Uh, the others, of course. I couldn't pick up because I don't speak any other language besides English. So, so you don't even speak French, uh, huh? No, I don't even speak French. No, probably Avi speaks French. Do you? I know a little bit. I, I can read yeah. French a lot. I can read French a lot better than I than I can speak it. Or in, yeah. I could, if somebody was talking to me in French, I would almost understand zero of what they were saying. Almost. Because, du bon, du bon, du bon poulet. I learned oh. that. It's the, only, it's the only thing I learned when I was in Quebec. 
Du bon poulet. It was the uh, French version of the Colonel of Colonel Sanders saying they don't have anything in French that says finger licking good. So he would get up and he would say du bon poulet. Uh, it's good, oh. good chicken. That's my French. Oh, you got to go to Montreal. You're going to be so popular. Oh yeah. Everywhere you go, oh, somebody will you're looking good. <laughs> Everywhere you go, somebody will say something to you in French, and you'll say "avant du lait." Bon poulet. <laughs> bon poulet. Yeah. Oh, that's so funny. So one joke that was told to me, and I uh -huh. think I can say it without it being any problem. Okay. Was uh, what? What do you call an Asian millionaire? Rich. Cha-ching. I don't get it. Uh, <laughs> Leonard got it. <laughs> I, 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 I got it. Dean, you're laughing. Cha-ching? Cha-ching. Oh, ching oh. cha cha oh, cha So do they have to give like one-liners or is it like... Uh, one guy. No, no. They did some interesting... In the Australian one was more adult. The guy came out like buck naked and they started doing interesting things to him and everything. But the Canadian one was a little more uh, restrained. Apologetic? Uh, well, <laughs> not apologetic. You should have heard, so the Australian one, yes, he came out naked and they did things to him, but they weren't allowed to swear the canadian one they just oh swore like troopers really? oh were they swearing then i decided to watch the mexican one because i can understand a little bit of spanish mm -hmm. and yeah oh he was uh, he was swearing on that one too <laughs> so, oh, okay. i've yeah. never heard of, you know i think i've heard of this but i've never i've never i hardly watch anything i thought i thought that I asked oh, him, oh, not now. Backwards. He said, not now. Dad jokes? Yes. Oh, those are awful. The, oh, I love those. I see those on Facebook all the time. <laughs> I just can't remember them. So. Well, isn't it what they say is that you remember one joke? Or at least I know that's true with me. You know one joke, and when it goes in, you got it. But if you get another one, then, then it pops out, and you only still have that one in your head. That's, oh that's yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm stuck. I I suspect that that characteristic is not um, existing in comedians. No, no, they're practiced. I'm sure they. Well, they also rehearse, you know. Yeah. Uh, it, well, it's the, the Canadian one was interesting because they had ones that were like older, like uh, from Kids in the Hall and. Um, Kids in the Hall and whose line it is it is it anyway? Which well, that's where I saw that's where I saw this. I saw an ad for it. I think I saw Colin Mockery on the ad. Colin Mockery, yeah. Somebody's gonna have a category tonight for comedians. Yeah, he's on one of them. So he, he's one of them. Well, I hope I'm on that team. Hi, Terry. So. Hi. How are you? Good, good to see you. Good to see you too. Hi, Alan. I didn't officially say hello to you. You're right next to your son. Where, where was he? Oh, he's disappeared. He was right next to his yeah, son. Yeah, he's probably eating something. <clears throat> so, but if you have, um, Abby, if you have uh, uh, Amazon, you have Prime, Amazon Prime, so yeah, on, on Amazon Prime, last one, last one laughing. I just uh, opened it on Google and I will um, probably yeah. watch some of it this weekend. Yeah, That's oh yeah, they're... <laughs> Oh, I was laughing so hard. I thought I was going to get somebody. Oh, it was. Oh, I and sorry, I, I was here, but um, oh, uh, I, 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 well, I no, I, I, I was trying to find. I know on YouTube, I, I, I showed Avi and, and Sarah once the evidence that he really does say du bon poulet. But I've got my. <laughs> this is what I do on 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 trivia night. I have my trail mix. I have my my all my health food i've got my my potato chips i have hamantashen i don't know if you know what those are but this is what they are 
okay? Because it's almost Purim. And Sarah got the, or Debbie got these for me. So I'm all set for tonight. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. He's got trivia night all like, okay, we got to have it all organized here for trivia night. Hi, Peggy. We can only see like the upper part of your face. So, I mean, I don't know what's going on down here, but you know. I'm just being lazy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. You're allowed to be lazy. Hi, Romero. How's your training going? Hey, uh, good. <laughs> Yeah. Can't <laughs> yeah, see my hands on my angel. Yeah. Um, is that GSOW training or something yeah, else? Yeah, GSOW training. GSOW he's gotten GSOW all the way up yeah. to the part where he's supposed to choose a final project. Is Literally this where you learn about Xenu? <laughs> is G GSOW still allowed to exist so far? Uh, well, we are training. We are recording, but um, we are in. We are in right now. They started it last night. I will send you here a little link. It is, they are making their the arbitration committee, the vote people are deciding what are gonna be the ramifications to, to GSOW and, and Susan Gerbeck and what are, what are they gonna to do to us? What, and so they're voting. They have all these propositions like totally ban Susan Gerbeck from anything that has to do with skepticism, Susan Gerbeck's banned from anything to do with uh, editing, uh, anything that has to do with um, Skeptical Inquirer magazine, um, uh, even to things like so and so has got to has to be nice to other people. Who's they? It's a Who's it's they? like a committee that is a voted in committee. Um, no, but from where? Wikipedia. No. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, so it's, it's this, a this is all Wikipedia centric. Yeah, so they're they're trying to decide what to do with Susan Gerbeck, Rob Palm. Mm -hmm. I shouldn't say that. myself and uh, GSOW, and they've been debating this since January. And today or yesterday was the day they they made the they're starting to vote on what will be the sanctions or if there will be sanctions. So I've been following what, it. To, do. what to do with me and uh, GSOW. It's been quite interesting. But anyway, so hi, Kyle. It's good hey, to see good you. Evening. Where's your disco lights, man? Times they are a changing. Oh, okay. Well, you've got good sound for your for your podcast right there behind you. So that's that's all right. Indeed. Indeed. We, it is. we have to start dancing disco if you play your disco ball. Or no, he just has disco lights behind him. Oh, so disco. Kyle, disco lights don't uh, respond well to K means clustering. Is that the issue? Not so much. You're right. More of a linear sort of system. Yeah, so you know the the previous um, uh, you know big data was more appropriate for disco lights. Yeah, you know it's just the way it is. And got to reinvent. Hi, Guys, remember disco duck, disco, disco, disco duck. Didn't I think we had it as a trivia category? Uh, not a category, but a, a, it was in a trivia. Something that came up. Yeah, because I had I showed the video where I showed the song. Oh, I was talking. I had a category back in the day when I wrote all the categories. It was disco. And I had a whole bunch of uh, like who were the DJs and stuff like that. And the guy who did Disco Duck was an actual DJ. And his name was. Disco Duck. Huh? Disco Duck. No, he it was a famous DJ back in the 70s. Come on now. Oh gosh, now I gotta look it up. His name was um was it Wolfgang? Fox? No, uh, I don't think so. Rick D. Rick D. Wolf Wolfman Rick Jack. D. No, Rick D. Rick D. Yes. D -E -E -S. See, you guys remember that. That's what I meant. Wolfman no, Jack. No, I I, I didn't enough. remember it. I looked yeah. it up. <laughs> I remembered it once I looked it up. I said, that's it. That, that is Rick, Dees, Rick Dees, for a little while, was uh, in Calgary what on for? a radio station. No? Oh, he was a host? Yep. Hmm. Rick Dees, yeah. And he spoke perfect Spanish. Really? Perfect Spanish, yeah. Oh. How, did you get anyone to confirm this? To, I don't know, just because I listened to him. Well, so he was either in Calgary or he did 
or it was um, the radio station. But how do you know the Spanish was perfect? Brought in. He spoke it. No, but how do you know that it was perfect? Oh, my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I would think that it was. Actually, I heard someone speak Spanish to him and he could understand it word for word. So. Or so he pretended. Well, I, I mean, I suppose. Technically speaking. Yeah, we're having some trouble with uh, our group here up in Calgary. So. Oh, what's going on? The yeah. Andy's group? Uh, yeah. I'm recording. Uh, somebody, somebody's um, holding the name brand. Oh, I know about that. Yeah, yeah. He's been yeah. getting some trouble. He, he yeah. used the, he got the, what's it called? The URL or the yeah. domain yeah. name. And he isn't releasing name. it. And he, no yeah, and he's not releasing it. So people are like, well, why don't we just change it? So I think that's yeah, a really good that's, idea. Did, that's, uh, did, what a was, jerk. did somebody forget to renew the, the, um, the. No, he, he's basically, he basically sent a complaint letter to the higher ups. They have a board. About, about the group. Uh, no, he sent it to like the domain um, owner, mm -hmm. like the ones that, that host it kind of thing. So he's just making life difficult for everyone. But the easiest thing would be is to like, just, you know, change the passwords, which they did. And he's upset about that. And then, um, and then just, change the domain change and i think that's what they're doing there. i think that's a good idea to come up with a better name i think i think that'll work out really well so this is this is a yeah. calgary Atheists or whatever this is calgary atheists um group calgary atheists yeah so. i think that they should just become a skeptic group we'll let Janine, i think right i think they should too i really it really bothered me that they called it the atheist society of calgary that really bothered me it really limits you. Yeah. You know, you can't, yeah. it's, it doesn't seem like it would be about yeah. science if you do. Oh, here comes Larry. Yeah. So I see, I spy with my little eye, Janine. Hi, Janine. Janine. Janine Denoma is here. But anyways, I have to stop talking about it now. Yeah, so. because we're recording. So yeah, you probably yeah. shouldn't. So yeah, Janine, she said, yeah. I've, been, I've been spending a lot of time with Jerry Andrus. I was just telling Janine, I was, Janine, I was just telling everybody, I think I've scanned almost my last paper for a while. So oh, really, well, wow, for for a, yeah, for a little bit, I've gotten through so much correspondence. It's just incredible how much I did. Hi, Larry. Hello, I invited a few other Canadians. So, All right, uh, well, we, we, we can use some more. Oh my gosh, we're going to become a Canadian. <laughs> what are we going to do, Carl? I hope you have good categories. Don't have to be polite. Canadian. You better hurry up and change your categories to be more more. Uh, north american centric and not just uh usa usa uh, usa <laughs> it's too late to make any changes oh well hi andy welcome hello there thank you also in canada and <laughs> in, in calgary that is really cool where's uh um i guess larry you're from calgary as well right? yeah and vincent's yeah. also oh, from yeah. calgary yeah we're gonna have to spread our bed. light it's going to turn into a Calgary group really quick. Like I'm, oh, I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. And that's fine with us. Hi, Ben. That's only because Adrian oh, yeah. was Calgary. So yeah. And Adrian's Adrian's not going to be here tonight. So <laughs> no. yeah. She oh, says really she'll try right. to make next week, but she's not been feeling really well, but so we'll, we'll give her a pass. That's all right. That's I'm, I'm impressed. <laughs> I, I'm going to have to get all the Calgary group on my GSW project, the whole thing. And then they could just work on Calgary science scientists. That's it. That's all they'll do. That'd be fun. That'd be really cool. We have one person who's done almost everything there is to do in South Africa. All the scientists, all anything is concerning South Africa and science. They're all, he's like, something comes out and he'll like, oh, I better, I better take care of that too. I don't understand. He writes them in Afrikaans. 
and English. Afrikaan. So, Afrikaans? Afrikaan. <laughs> I call it Afrikaans. Is it, am I been saying it wrong all this time? Afrikaan. Afrikaan, hmm. yes. Somebody named Robert Afrikaan. tried to join, but I don't see them here now. Did they disappear? No. Was that somebody else, Larry, you, you invited? Yeah, 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 yeah I, I, he was there. I don't know what happened to him. Maybe no, he's yes, gone he now. He disappeared. Well, maybe really, he'll come back. Like, <laughs> Larry, where are you picking up all these people from? Just random people. No. <laughs> uh, this is from uh, Minds Without Borders. Minds Without uh, Borders. Oh, okay. But yet you're all in Calgary. So how does that work? Oh, here he comes. No, no, actually, actually it's, it's from Ottawa and Toronto area. And uh, oh, there's Robert. He's back. Oh, yeah. Well, Toronto and oh, Calgary are oh, both in Canada. So they so, must be really close. So there is yeah. no, so these border, there are borders. Are you sure about that? <laughs> Hello, Robert. Welcome to the, to the trivia, social well, trivia by Susan. I'm an astronomer. So yes. He's a phys <laughs> he does physics. He does physics. So um, Robert, you're in what, what part of Canada? Are you also in Calgary? Uh, I'm in Toronto. Okay. So he's, He's, you cannot possibly be in Toronto. Toronto spelled T-R-O-N-T-O. -T -O. Toronto. Tor Toronto. Toronto. But I no, no, no one that no one in Toronto not everyone knows that. pronounces it Toronto. Really? I can't yeah. tell the difference. Oh right. yeah, no, they some some do, but from Toronto. Toronto. That's better. No. Okay. <laughs> I I can't even hear it. I only hear it when they say stuff like, what is it they always say like um. A? No, no. They say that other word. They say. Sorry. A. Sorry. 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 Oh, yeah. Sorry. And, well, out, no, and out in a boat. Another word. Sorry. And yeah. a boat. A boat. Out, oh, out boat. We never say out in a boat. <laughs> well, they say a boat. A boat. <laughs> boat in the boat. Barely say. Now, now say a boot. People from Newfoundland, they have quite an accent. So, yeah. you know what's going to happen yeah. pretty soon here if we don't watch ourselves? The Americans are going to get outnumbered and they're going to, the Canadians are going to come into this trivia game and they're going to be like, so, they got you know how the Americans say that's so silly, you know. <laughs> Burn down the White House. We're not going to be able to pick on our, our cousins of the North much sooner because. For the uh, bonus, name 10 kinds of mooses. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Adrian told me uh, that she had, she sent me a picture of, um, Calgary and how cold it was and she, and she was you know it was her and it was like negative 24 whatever it is you guys do there Chelsea. It, was, it was it was pretty cold <laughs> and she said that she put out a whole bunch of um feed I can't remember what you call it for the woodpeckers because <laughs> the category last last week was woodpeckers so <laughs> suet suet is that a word food. and it's a birds? thing you feed birds okay it's good so she put out a whole it's bunch of lard for the woodpeckers it's lard in a cage is it yep oh, is yep. it oh yeah yes it is it was it's lard in a cage i just thought it was birds. No. Nope. no you know i've no, heard so it's, much it's about a particular Ottawa. form of animal fat oh, oh. Ottawa, I'd never really thought of Ottawa before, but you know what? I know a lot about it. <laughs> and guess what? It's the capital. <laughs> I didn't know that. Capital, yeah. It took this damn trucker thing for me to go, oh. What's the, what's the provincial capital of Ontario? I know. No. Uh, I know you would. What did, what, what, did, uh, what did Robert say? About what where he lives. What did Robert say? What? He's not here. He, yeah, he's oh, right there in the corner. He, he would, oh, right. no, let, let the Americans answer. What? What's the? Yeah, I no, no, I'm not asking Robert to say it. I'm just saying. What's, what's the capital? Robert one? said where he was coming from, and now you want to know what the capital city of Ontario is. So, what did Robert say? Did you remember? Did Toronto. You yes, you're right. I thought Toronto <laughs> was the state. <laughs> You have no, to no. pronounce it properly. Oh, no. <laughs> oh yeah. No. They there may no like states. to think there that. No I really would love to go to Canada and explore, but I'm really not. Listen, there are no states in Canada. We have provinces. Yeah. Oh. Your field in the database is called state, and that's where we store your information. No, it's called state. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> we just call you guys that. So that's all right. I, I just learned that uh, Australia has states. I didn't yes. realize they were called state. I thought they were regions or something. I, how many I keep how up many with all you people? Jeez, how many states geez. does Australia have? Seven, I think. Six. Well, there's a state of drop involved. bears. Oh, look, I've got a drop bear on. See, here's a drop bear. Yeah. So I got, that from, I got it from the Sydney skeptics. Yeah. He's scary. Those drop bears, I'm telling you. But if you go into the Brisbane area, you got to really watch it because they have hoop snakes. And they get their snakes and they go, and they strangle you. They, they go all the way around like a, and they strangle you. I, I also invited two other people, although I'm not sure if Sabrina's uh, Canadian. I think she may live in the States. Uh, and there's one other person, her name's Fika, but she says she's terrible at, at trivia. Well, we don't do them. trivia here. What are you <laughs> thinking? Haven't you explained to them? This isn't about trivia. My goodness. The name of the game is Social Trivia by Susan. So the first two words are Susan mm. and social. It has nothing to do with trivia. I mean, it does kind of, but you know. Nothing. So it's very, it's very, this is a game. Except for out. the trivia. There's no trivia in it. Except right. for that trivia. It's all the about. Trivia is trivial. It's about meeting people and having and talking to them and getting to know them in, in little groups and, and, and talking about disco duck. And what else were we just talking about? Woodpeckers and. Providence is in Canada. Peckers, yeah. I'm so <laughs> I've been Providence. on a really com competitive team. You have? I have. One once in a while. <sighs> well, tonight it's going to be different. Tonight is Carl all all Carl all night all Carl. So we're not doing okay. a separate category. I mean, we're That's not doing kind of light turnout so far. No, no, this is about normal for this time of the day. Yeah, we've got four minutes. So I'll go <laughs> here in a minute. So that's fine. So, so I hope, Larry, you explained you explain to Andy and to Robert what was going to happen, right? No, uh, I'm you, sorry, Robert. <laughs> Larry? You came without knowing. <laughs> what did he get us into? <laughs> so Robert and Andy, do you guys know how, how comfortable, I mean, have you used breakout rooms before? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I have. Okay. On Zoom. Yeah, on Zoom. So you guys should be okay. So, so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put you guys in rooms. I sort of randomize you, sort of. <laughs> and um, Carl, are am I going to be on one team, and you're going to assign me to a team? Is that what you're going to do, or am I going to go from room to room? I would think you should just be on a team. The A team. Yes. So, so what you should Holly do, Matt Murdoch. so what you'll do so that it's totally randomized is I will assign all the teams to people and then you just roll a die between one and five or one yeah. and five inclusive. And I, I will be say, if, if there's any tweaking the teams, it would be a good idea to have at least one veteran trivia person per team. Oh, yeah, don't I have will. any team, don't have any team all full of newbies. No, I won't do that. I won't do that. I, and I got to spread out the Canadians. In case there's a curling category. <laughs> we don't want to have all the Canadians on one team and then and then it's American presidents or something again or or uh, or you, you think we you think we couldn't do well? <laughs> Rhode Island or something like that. Or, I think you do better with uh, American presidents than Americans would do with Canadian prime ministers. Oh, oh yeah. God. Oh, please. Oh, wow. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> Well, in, in fact, most Americans really wouldn't know that the head of that the head of the government is called a prime minister. Well, I knew that. And last week, didn't we have um, wives of what was it? First, first ladies. ladies. First Janine ladies. did first ladies, which was really great. And I had this moment in my mind whenever I saw that she said that that she did. I thought somebody's going to do something on Canadian first ladies. I just knew, or whatever the equivalent <laughs> is called in first prime what, what would they be called first there is no such thing as first ladies of prime the minister. wife of the prime minister that's all it is yeah. <laughs> she doesn't do anything yeah. she doesn't have a she doesn't do anything special no. she doesn't her do own stuff, like life no. going, but no. yeah um i've been a little worried about this okay so what's going to happen is i'm gonna i'm stalling a little bit because a couple of minutes 
is I'm going to assign you guys sort of randomly to a room. There's five rooms. Here comes Gail. And I'm going to put you on these on teams. And there should be about four to six people in the room. And so we don't play teams where it's the same team every week. So everybody's kind of, you're forced to interact with different people each week, which is really kind of fun. And you don't know who's going to be on your team, which is even more fun until you just randomly get there. If you, somebody on your team should obviously keep score. It's helpful if you have a pencil and paper or a pen and paper or something like that as they're reading out the questions for each category. So each category is 10 questions long. And there's four categories. We take a break after the second category. And um, hi, Faith. I see you're sneaking in here. So they, the last category is bonus. Now, I assume this is what Carl's going to do today. Maybe, not maybe not. Yeah. He, so in the beginning of trivia, when we started this a year and a half ago, golly, um, I wrote all the questions. And the maximum points you could get would, would be 50. And we've changed it now to allowing other people to write the categories and the maximum point is 50. But what we've done is recently is some people have chosen to do the whole day. Just the one person does the whole event because they have so much energy writing categories. I don't know what they're anyway. So tonight is Carl. So as Carl is going to run all the categories. I have no idea what they are. And it's funner that way. But it's actually, it's a lot of fun whenever we have five different people writing the categories each week because you you don't, nobody knows what the category is going to be. They don't coordinate with each other. So, I mean, in theory, there could be two categories on the same topic, like Olympics, and then somebody else does Summer Olympics or something, and, you just, and they overlap. We, we don't know. Last week, we had, uh, Janine did First Ladies in America. And then Rob did the Titanic, Titanic, trivia of the Titanic show. Titanic. <laughs> Titanic, whatever. And then Peggy did the the show Rocky and Bullwinkle. That was fun. Oh, yeah. I missed that. that. Was, was obviously I failed so bad at that. I missed that. And, oh, yeah, can you imagine? And then get, oh, it was awful. The scores were really low. And Gail did f Flags of the World. She had like images of the flags. And then we had to figure out what uh, flag that was. And then Robin did, you had to name 10 woodpeckers of the United States and Canada. <laughs> so as Carl reads out the questions, don't say anything. Don't blurt out your answer. After he's written them down, they'll all go into the chat. You'll be able to see them in the chat box. So hopefully you can see your chat. And then you'll be sent to your room. And within your room, you'll just mingle and talk with the other five people in the room and you'll figure out how you're going to decide the answers, vote or some, everybody does it differently, which is really kind of fun how it's done. And then one person should probably give the score. And then when you come back, we don't have a time limit. You're done whenever we decide you're done. And Carl will come between the categories and just uh, come in and out of the rooms so he can see what you guys are talking about. Susan. Susan, you, yes, you yes. made one you made one mistake. You said you need a pen and piece of paper. Uh, the questions are posted in chat. Yes, they are. But some people like to have a pen, pen and paper or pencil and paper so that when they're reading out the question, you can jot down like not required, but it's helpful. Yeah, it's helpful. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So you don't have to have it more helpful for some people than for others. And then some people inside the <laughs> inside the breakout rooms will have like a they'll screen share their screen and they have like all the questions written down and they answer them that way it just depends on each group so i think we're about ready to go hi mike uh mike has done a category once for us it was a couple weeks ago he did gene smart the actress he did one on unico Unis, unisco the unesco unesco world unesco yeah and then he had people on today's game we had to name who was playing. It was fun as heck because it was elimination. You couldn't, you couldn't, <laughs> if somebody else said their name, you couldn't, anyway. And then he had one on bicycles and then he had one on highway signs. So you never know what we're going to get. We've had, this is game um, 
95. Here comes Deborah. Who's so hi, doing, Gail. Who's doing Good the categories see. tonight? Carl. Carl. Hi, Rob. Oh, this, it's an old Carl night. Oh, it's all yeah. Carl night. So this should be fun. We have two new members, two, two new people. So we have Robert, who just gave us a nice smile, and Andy. I, so I give both up a Robert. I, and I, we I, have a chicken. So have Andy. just have one Andy. chicken. Just one, I, would have brought, I would have brought more. Hi, I Kevin. <laughs> the, chicken will con the chicken will contribute about as much as I will in this side. That's when I think. You yeah. don't know. You I never can. know what the where, categories are going to be. where I'm at. <laughs> you could be, it could be all, all people named, people named Alan. <laughs> Alan, 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 Alan. Okay, so I need to make sure that I put on that, um, like Kat's iPad is Bob. And so I don't want to have that considered a second person. And then I Terry Rome has- Romero only says Romero, is Faith not playing? Yeah, she's there. Yeah. Faith is there. Rob's gone no. blind and blind. I'm well, not, 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 doesn't say her name there. Usually it's just Faith and Romero. Yeah, he I'm needs wondering. to put Faith's name on there. So Rob, and it might feel like to you guys that we all know each other super well because <laughs> no, it's not true. Some of us have known each other for years, but other of us, some people who I've never met in person, some of them have just been here for three or four games. And so we, we're all just as disgusting. And, and like very dirty mall people. Everybody. And some of us won't admit it. Yeah, that's true. And we're just people are just we're just friendly. So don't freak out that it feels like everybody knows each other really well. Okay, let me make sure I spread this out. A more. Hi, Deborah. Hi, Susan. Hi, everybody. How are you? Good. I'm eating dinner. Oh, that's <laughs> that's great. You should come over and have some cinnamon rolls. Mm. Uh, they're the, they're the best I've ever made. Those, they're, those was like three weeks ago. Oh, well, I made new ones. These aren't the same. Uh, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. I made it. I made it. really wants to get the meat up. <laughs> they are so good. Oh, my gosh. Mm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put... Lots of preservatives. No, I'm going to trade. Well, that's one of the four basic food groups. Cinnamon rolls? Cinnamon no, rolls? Pre preservatives. Oh, okay. The four basic yeah. food groups. Fat, right. flour, sugar, and preservatives. I thought it was um, cinnamon rolls, flour, sugar, and preservatives. No, yeah, sugar, cinnamon, cinnamon rolls are obviously con uh, constructs of multiple parts. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. I think uh, the other things are made by deconstructing the cinnamon rolls. That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> a cinnamon roll. But I don't think those particle. are the basic food groups. I think it's coffee, beer, chocolate, chocolate, <laughs> and there has to be one more, but I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it, it might be wine. I, I, you might wine. Need to double up the alcohol. I'm not that into I, wine. I, I, <laughs> I used to go hiking in the mountains uh, for 10, 10 days, uh, 10 nights, pardon me. And uh, so you can actually cook cinnamon rolls mm. out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> I, they're just so heavy. You eat them anyway. and you And I, oh, I, I can go anywhere. Yeah, but yeah, it's water and you just get it from a creek, right? So uh, I can tell you that. You know, the smell of cinnamon rolls, oh, I don't know, 50 miles from civilization smells very nice. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I've, got, bears. so I've got you guys all set. Um, um, I have, um, I have, uh, Carl's got the permissions now. And Peggy, I just gave you co-permissions. You're in charge of, of uh you know being the mean one tonight so we do not we do not have any rules about um we try to mute everybody whenever carl's going to be reading the questions but the rules are that um, you should be quiet unless you have something really funny to say and uh, then of course you need to unmute yourself and say it so that that's fine reveal any yeah and don't ask a lot of questions because uh, oh in 15 minutes okay great so don't uh, reveal, don't ask too many questions in the, at the beginning, unless it's really, you know, really needs to be done. Because a lot of times we found that people will ask questions. And by people, we mean Rob. 
And then, yeah, like Rob. <laughs> and when they do, they That's end up inadvertently giving out the giving out the answer to or helping other teams. Like, I don't know. So here comes, I'm, I'm stalling because here comes Robin and here comes Karen and Fika is coming over in a few minutes. So we'll just put her in when we do. So the first thing that's going to happen is you're going to go to your room, meet your new people, and you're going to come up with a name for your group. And you have, sky's the limit of whatever you want to say. But <laughs> I like it when you choose something that's current in the news. It's always kind of interesting. So I have especially like it if you pick something that Susan can't pronounce properly. And the rest of us like that. Yeah. Everybody likes it when they can't pronounce it. There's got to so, be at least a character limit here. Well, <laughs> nobody's full. I, I liked it when it was small, but that no, doesn't it doesn't fit. Time to push the limits. Yeah. So what else is new? Okay. So when Fika gets here, I will put her into a room. So I'm going to. So don't don't roll the die yet, um, Carl. All right because I need to put everybody in the rooms first and then you can tell me where we're gonna go. All right, so here we go. Does it actually matter when I roll the die? No, because what you're gonna do- I mean- I'm gonna put- The die roll will be unaffected by anything you do. Yeah, I just don't wanna know where you're gonna put me. That's I a didn't pretty say bold tell claim, you, Carl. But oh I yeah, rolled. you could go roll the die. <laughs> okay, I'm just, let me make sure I've got everybody in the rooms before you send me to a room. Um. So Peggy, keep an eye out for, and and Carl, keep an eye out for Fika, who's going to be here in a few minutes. I just got a message from Kim. Okay, roll a die and tell me and tell me the room I'm going in. You got number one. Okay. So Karen, I think I put her in a place. Yeah, I did. All right, Karen's coming. All right, everybody, go to your rooms. Huh. Guess know. what? I'm on your team. Oh, I'm wow. Lucky That's you so guys. I will what talk you out of anything. What are the odds? One well, in one in five. So what did you come up with, Rob? <laughs> so, Susan, is it Kiev or Kiev? Kiev. I think I've heard it. I heard it is. No, that's the name. Kiev. That was the name of the team I was going to suggest because oh. of the two different oh. pronunciations, which I'm sure you wouldn't get either one right. But I like Kiev putting your nose where it's key. I don't get that. Say it again. Kiev, what? Kiev putting your nose where it what? Hey. Kiev Putin, your nose where it doesn't belong. <laughs> Not to have a good or NATO have a good time. I was trying right to. Right now, room out. four only had three people in it, Susan. Really? What? Room four only has three people. Because one of the people you put in there was me. Oh. Who's it? Who are those three? Uh, let's see. Oh, I'm looking. Deborah, Kevin, oh. Leonard, Mike Wolf, and Peggy. There's five. Oh. There was three okay. when you were there a minute ago. So go away, Carl. I guess. I guess it's. I guess it's fine. You don't okay. get to be in the room to choose the help with names. So go yeah. away. Oh, yeah, Mr. Go, go, Mr. Quizmaster. Carl's in our team. No, Carl's not on our team. He's running everything tonight. Mm -hmm. So, Andy, some of these people, from what I understand, I really rarely ever get to be on a team. From what I understand, they spend all week trying to think of the name they're going to have for their for their. No, just watching the news tonight. Yeah. Well, I've had Caspian and others say. That, you know, trying to write down names all week long. They're like, oh, uh, that's a great team name. And so, so today I read the story about, uh, which I, I kind of remembered when it happened, but I have forgotten since it was way back in 2012 when Romney was running for president. And he said in some um, publication, Russia is America's number one geopolitical foe. And Obama slammed him for that and said, you know, the 80s called and, and they, they want their uh, they, they, something like that. Right. He said, oh, the 1980s are calling and, and they want our following your following policy back. So, you know, so my idea was going to be something like Kiev called and said, hey, Romney was right about one thing. I don't think that's a clever name. No. I, I'm no help whatsoever. I would put something about that has nothing to do with Russia because I'm so depressed by the whole thing. Um, well, like so you never get to pick it. You never get to pick a team name. So why don't we just get, let you do it? No, I would be horrible at choosing that a team name. I would just call <laughs> ourselves the Dirty Mole Rats again or something. Well, yeah. can't do that. We did that. I thought you had an idea, Susan. No, I'm no good at it. That's what I come up with. Came up with. 
What did you say again? That's what I came up with. And you have to read it. I think most of them are going to have names. I already see one coming up on, on there. They're all going to do something about Kiev um, or, or um, Ukraine. So why don't we not do that? Just okay. be How about what else is happening in the news? Is there anything else happening in the news? Mm. The Olympics are over. The union has a state. There's one? <laughs> The union has a state. We're having the state of a union, aren't we, tomorrow? Yeah. Oh, is that tomorrow? Oh, this is nice. Purple monkey dishwashers. <laughs> purple monkey dishwashers. How did you come up with that one, Andy? That's from The Simpsons. Uh, you have to give me one moment. I just have to take my uh, son's goodnight call. I'll be right back. So oh, right. that's fine. <clears throat> just mute yourself. There you go. Purple monkey dishwashers. I, I'm fine with that. Purple's a nice purple monkey. Purple monkey wish. Oh, I see Faith put in here. Kiev, Putin, your nose war, it doesn't belong. I don't yeah. get it. I didn't get it either. It's you too complicated. Put your nose where it doesn't if belong. If you have to explain it to everyone, it, that's not a good name. So. Uh, I'm with purple monkey dishwashers. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Let's okay. go with that one. That's everyone great. else is going to have Kiev or. or Everybody uh, else is going to have Kiev. happened Kiev. recently is that the world's oldest pants, pants were stitched together. Uh, the, the, oldest, the oldest what? Yeah, I'll, I'll put the article in the, the chat. world's oldest pants stitched together cultures from across Asia. They're three thousand years old. The three thousand year old pants. Uh, well, did anyone <laughs> watch? Did anybody watch sixty minutes this weekend? No, no. Oh, is that about the Havana syndrome? Yeah, yeah. Oh, look at those pants. Totally. What? Did they oh. come to the right conclusion, or did they stitch. botch it? That is Don't something know. else. What pants is she talking about? She had to put a thousand year old pants from Asia. She put a link in the in the thing. Mira did. That's interesting. That could wow. be a modern style. I'll tell all of you, I'm now whirling, and that's all your fault. Oh, I didn't good. Oh, it. thank goodness. I'm not. Uh -huh. Me neither. So, oh, that doesn't I that, that yeah, reminds me to text my mom what my results were for today. Yeah, you don't need to. Yes, I do. Okay, do we have somebody to keep score and whatever? I am willing to put the questions up so we can see them while we're doing the game. Okay. Unless somebody else wants to, because oh, I don't I mean, contribute much to the answers, but I can contribute a lot of question writing. It's all right, Even Rob. I see what you sent me. It's, it's gonna be what? what it is. You just sent me a message. No, I was like a half hour ago, well. yeah, okay. Purple monkey dishwashers is what we picked? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I'm just seeing this message right now. All righty. Yeah, he took uh, Grief Vampires out. We'll just have to let, just have to think of it this way that it's been it's been in for a very long time. Team is the one that gets recorded the whole time. Yeah, yeah. This is the room that the whole thing will be recorded. I, I guess I'm okay with it. I guess I have to turn notifications back on the post. I turned off the group chat from my mom's wordle. Oh my gosh, why would you have a group chat? My mom and my sister and I all text each other our wordle results every morning. My sister does it at midnight, my mom does it at 5 a.m. and then I do it. And so so you only exchange what three messages then? Or is Sometimes, there like but my sister is upset because she says there seems to be a pattern and it's pissing me off pattern yeah for the words really because wow. the word yesterday was one of the words i guessed the day before and i got it in three so they're following you aha uh -huh. that's interesting mm -hmm. so in order it was could those moist shard <laughs> pleat i don't think so aloft it's like skill Elder you know how uninteresting this conversation has just evolved to? I'm just <laughs> letting you know. It's this is about the oh, level of it's gonna kill the virus. I'd rather I'd rather be on Kevin's team and talk about Billy Joel. Oh, I'll bet you would not. I'm still waiting for someone to do a Billy Joel category. How come no one's found that? Damn. Are you sure we haven't? I, I thought we, we did a Billy Joel category. It just feels it. like it because we've always had. Billy Joel. Where'd Robin go? Oh. Let me double check. So no one asked me about my, my room today, where, where I am, where I am. 
You're in prison because you're right Robert now. Palmer. You no, this is not a prison. Putin mentioned nuclear weapons today for the first time. So I'm in my bomb shelter. That's what this is. Oh, God, don't scare me. Susan, did you get an email from Celebrity about Russia? No, I, don't, I thought I know of. Okay. I, I deleted a couple messages from Celebrity because I get them and I just, it's like. Who is Celebrity? It's a, it's a pretty cool. The, the, Adrian was trying to arrange for people to go on a cruise and it was going to be in the Baltic. Baltic? Baltic, yeah. And one of our stops is in St. Petersburg. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, this ain't going to happen. I know. Right. It's being happen. fucking recorded. Laugh, laugh. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm laughing at her luck for picking that, that itinerary. Yeah, we were thinking well, that's why we've been following this. It's been a year or so since we, we thought COVID yeah. would be over by now, too. Yeah. yeah. We were thinking of going to Moscow. Yeah. I'd love to. Mm. Oh, like Leonard a, said he got like it. Russia's a bucket list, but I don't think it's ever going to happen now. Yeah, I, so I, I have We're going to go to Vegas. Gail, we're coming to Vegas. Uh, we'll see about that. Oh, you said that. Uh, what? What? What's you know what? Waiting for the. I'm just waiting for better. For sure, we've got a clear. Yeah, maybe March. What? Do Nexus in person this year. Oh, where's Nexus going to win? They they haven't set a day yet, but it's in New York City. You know, I thought they for sure decided that they weren't going to be doing it in person. They decided a couple weeks ago during the podcast that it was. Are you sure it's New York City? Because last time I heard them talking about it was Vegas. It's going to be Atlantic. I'm not Vegas. Sorry, Atlantic City. Yeah, Atlantic City. Did they change that, Romero? Um, they could have. But yeah, you know what? It. Just and don't yeah, worry about it. Hot. Nexus yeah, is nowhere as fun as Psycon. Psycon's far more. Yeah, but I can get to I can get to Atlantic City in an hour and a half. So what? It will take you about that long to get to Las Vegas on an airplane. Uh, yeah, not from here. What? What? A hypersonic <laughs> transport? Six-hour flight. Yeah. Where Nexus. are you? Nexus is um, New York. They don't have the, the social as much as as Vegas. It's just like Vegas. Yeah, is, it, might, it might be different if it is in one of the casino hotels in Atlantic City. We'll see. No, well, that's it's true. Different. If it's in Atlantic City and one yeah. of the casino hotels, that'd be different. But but if it's so expensive. This year. What? Is Icon going to happen? Yes, in, they, oh, yes, yeah. they posted Next the date. And we got some kick-ass speakers. Jeez, let me tell you, I'm get to speak. I'll be on the stage. <laughs> But no, besides me, hi everybody. I'm here. Does anybody new join that I didn't see? No, oh, looks like we had the same crew. That's, Gary, uh, Gary might be why, Kevin? What big teeth you have? Yeah, I yep. was going to say Kevin's <laughs> picture there is like wow. That's scary. That's that is it's Billy scary. Joel on a horse. No, <laughs> it's James Carousel in Brooklyn. Oh, with Peggy. a fisheye lens that gives that effect. Oh, so that Peggy, is, that your, is that the flag of Ukraine? Is that what that's there? That looks like someone does have it. Wow, she looks like she's walking from far, far away. <laughs> yeah. All the way across the kitchen. Uh, yes, that's the Ukrainian flag. It's kind of pretty, actually. It is. It is pretty. You haven't noticed it on, on almost every Facebook post today? Nope. Like, I haven't yeah. really been paying attention to Facebook. It reminds me of a sandwich bag. Blue and yellow make green. I've been watching this Wikipedia thing all day. Classic X-Men colors. Hmm. There's a medallion in the corner, though, isn't there? Now, there's a real horse. <laughs> Says the flag lady. <laughs> I, I decided that the Wikipedia thing doesn't make there. any sense at all. Oh, it's 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 not so bad. I, I mean, it's we're coming to the end. Well, that's yeah, hard. Yeah. Like it's it just seems like they're there deciding any, that like, Susan like Gerber. No declarative sentences. It's just like word S, word M. And they've, and they've voted, they voted on all the things like we must be kind to each other. <laughs> yeah. Wikipedia is, it, it, is a place. Did people for, vote against that? Nobody has voted. I think there was a section to vote against to oppose it. I mean, it's just like, okay, well, thank you for letting us all know that. I appreciate it. Okay, so here we go. Uh, yeah, and he's back. Okay, so Peggy's probably on the other side of the flag. Kevin's hiding behind the horses for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, Larry's who knows where. Uh, okay, so this is the part of the, of the program where we get the team names. So the first group, which I'm in, is Andy, Faith, Romero, Gail, Rob, Robin, and myself. And 
Somebody we somebody gets to say what our team name is because I already know what it is. Well, then it should be you. Because mm -hmm. we have to you put it in the chat. Team name, Susan. You should say it. You're on the team. Well, I talk what, all what the is, time. What team are you on, Susan? I'm on the Purple Monkey Dishwashers, and that was chosen by our new person. What, what was that last word? Dishwashers. Okay. Not, and I don't think he even knew about that. <laughs> it's amazing. They they seem to think that I I say the word wash wrong. Mm -hmm. So a little, a little bit. Oh, we, actually, we know you say the word wash wrong. So wash wash. So, so, so it's really wash. funny that he picked. Well, you say the word wash correctly. It's the word <laughs> wash that you get wrong. And, and, so, and there's there's not an R in there. Is, is there any word with a wash? Well, there is. No. A, yes, there's yeah. a wash. There's an R in wash. There's just one wash. No. Worcestershire wash. sauce. So there's been this, what about squash? <laughs> see how they get <laughs> set off. They get set off. That's Susan, said can you say kid. squash? Squash. Okay. So what happens is say squashington. If you can't, if you can't come up with a fun name that has something to do with what's currently happening in the world, they try to sneak in something that that has the word wash in it. So then I have to say it. And that's I didn't notice it when you said purple monkey dishwashers that it happened. I think I think dishwashers is spelled W A R S H E R. And we've all been doing it wrong. And there's been a list going around. I don't know who's collecting a list of words that I can't pronounce, but it seems like every time they find a new one I can't pronounce, they somebody says they're putting it on the list. So I don't know. Make up a show look at the team name somewhere. So this is apparently from The Simpsons. No, Susan, it's because you believe in, in con conservation and all of those R's they don't do in Boston have to go somewhere. So you <laughs> <laughs> you Add an the R. That's how I've always felt. You know, if you don't know how to spell it, just put an R in there. I'm sure it'll be close. Anyway. Would you say that, would you say that Putin is waging war on Ukraine? War? No, that's not got wars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So the next team, uh, I am Sofa King's Pit. I am Oh, that's just that's a joke. Old. Yeah, no kidding. Anyway, so our next team is Ben, Bob, Karen, and Kyle, you, and Robert. What's your what's enunciate your that previous name very carefully? Yes. Is that your team name? No, that's no. that's that's Kevin interrupting. Okay, what else is new? Go ahead. What's your team name? <laughs> uh, ah. <laughs> Ooh, you guys better start watching this or reading it or something. I'm on I'm chapter 13. You. Oh, so you are since last week. Did you start yeah. last week? Yeah, I started right after. No, the next day. The next day after. And you know. you're in chapter 13. I'm surprised you didn't are, finish it. Are you enjoying well, it? It's taking a long time because every time a math equation gets written, he has to go and write it down to make sure it's right. Um, excuse me. Um, please add an S to the end of spoiler because there will be many. Several <laughs> planned. Oh, we're the, yeah, spo we're yeah. the spoiler not brigade. This, not we're today, brigade though. about spoilers. No, no. We're going to be careful. My, my book still, I've, I still have it. I'm waiting for it to come in to the library. Janine, you won't need it after uh, we're done tonight. Oh. Oh. I will and never give you fight Karen words. If, you, if you give me any spoilers. Wait oh, till we tell you about the audio joke. thing. So everybody, everybody who has doesn't know what we're talking about. There's this book. It's by Andy Weir. He did The Martian. And there's a new book he has out called Project Hail Mary. And some of us have been talking about it for months and we are dying to talk about it in more detail, but we can't because people keep trickling in like, okay, I'm going to read it. And they get halfway through and they're like, oh my gosh, don't tell me anything. So no spoilers. Okay. <laughs> not even a hint of a spoiler. Nothing. Not all a, the spoilers. Nothing. Darth Vader okay. is Luke's father. <laughs> oh, I was, I was going to say Dumbledore ducks at the end. Verbal is Kaiser Sose. So Deborah, Kevin, Leonard, Mike, and Peggy, who are you playing as tonight? Oops. They shoot horses, don't they? <laughs> mm. oh. A vague oh, reference. 
A vague reference to who? I don't get it. To the okay. I didn't know it either. Deborah knew it. It's a cool story, kind of, if you like horses. Um last last year's Kentucky Derby, Medina Spirit won sort of, but then there was a challenge because there were drugs involved and this freaking trainer and all this stuff. So they just recently last week, this week, just a few days ago, they stripped Medina Spirit of Medina Spirit's title, even though Medina Spirit died in December. Oh I'm sure they're really upset about that. Well, so especially England. Medina spirit. Yeah. Yeah, the spirit I mean. spirit. The spirit of Medina spirit. spirit. So it's they should horse is right there. Reference. Okay, so the next team is Avi, James, Jane, F, and Larry. And I and you only have four, so you may end up with the next player. Okay. 50-50 for now. Canadians and uh, Americans. Oh, okay, for now. I'm glad you put yeah. that. Because you're okay. going to mess it up somehow, I'm sure. Okay, Alan, Jane, Janine, Terry, and Vincent. Uh, it's, uh, let me just put it in chat. Ben has the final word, according to Karen. They let me be their spokesperson. So, oh. Which they shouldn't have, because I'm going to like say some nasty thing. No, I'm going to say, I'm gonna say some nasty things. No, you're Canadian. I thought that I didn't you seem know. to be lacking candidates with answers. Yeah. Yes. Is that your team name? Yeah. Well, we, know, team. we have we have a lot of other designated roles on our team, but we're not sure we have answers. Yeah. <laughs> and not a single person picked anything that had to do with Russia or Ukraine. I'm shocked. Shocked to tell you. This is my shock. This is well, like I, this yeah, is like mono it rules. Up for it's like mono rules. We all assumed everyone else would, so we weren't going to do it. And well, well, and there, I, and there's so that. many so many opportunities yeah. for great hilarity there. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. that's yeah. the yeah. issue. Who wants it, to it, dwell it, on it? Yeah, yeah. it's, it's, it's too avoiding. upsetting to make. I'm still back on Gaspacho. About aren't you glad we didn't go with that faith? I'm still back on Gaspacho, so I'm way behind. I know I've been barely noticing because it is just so depressing. So here we are. Um, 2022, so I'm told, February 24th. And this is game number 95, Noventa, Noventa Cinco, season two, episode 38, which is amazing. So game number 95. And tonight we have five teams that are going to be duking it out. Five teams that have never been put together in this way before that will be fighting amongst each other for dominance for the February 24th, 2022 game. This is going to be an epic battle, a battle where only one team will end up dominating with bragging rights with with their win. So the, tonight the new, pe the new people are going to be really let down. <laughs> <Tonight, laughs> Get yeah. ready to rumble. <laughs> we have five teams and the teams that will be vying for game number 95's wins are Purple Monkey Washers. Oh, Purple Monkey Dishwashers versus the Project Hell Mary Spoilers Brigade versus they shoot horses, don't they? Versus 50-50 for now. Versus we seem to be lacking candidates with answers. So, <laughs> it's <just> so weird. <laughs> I, I predict the Project Hail Mary spoiler brigade will get off to a rocky start. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right. So, tonight we are honored. We are honored with one person running all the categories tonight. This is going to be Carl with a K, so they say, who's going to be running all five categories. I know nothing about the categories he's going to be doing tonight. I have some, I have a feeling he's going to have to do something with space lasers and science fiction or something. I don't know, but you never know with Carl. I don't and there's know. another oh, different oh, thing tonight. We're going to see Carl's full face the whole game. Oh, the that whole game. Lasers be Jewish. Yeah, this ought to be interesting. Okay, so Carl, I'm ready if you're ready. Let's okay. see what you got. All right. So for the initial round, we Ooh. might have some fun with flags. Flags or might, sl slags? So, so for the first six questions, I'll show you six flags. 
and the names of six countries, and you have to, for the first six questions, you have to match the flag to the country. Hey, Peggy, you want to do Here's your six, honors? Six completely different flags, each one of them unique. Okay, I'm going to mute all now, okay? No, no, no need, because that's a joke. This is not really the category, because this is oh. unfair. Oh. <laughs> Nobody can tell the difference between these flags. Oh, oh you're I awful. That you did that. Even that though they great. are, each one of these is slightly different from the others. Oh, my God, that would be horrible. <laughs> you would no, be, that's not what you I'm would doing. be in so much trouble. I'm glad I recorded that. <laughs> that, 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 was, that was subtle. <laughs> Picture. And I started to write flags on the. Yeah, I waste. I no. wasted a space on my phone to take no. a picture. I of almost that. had. The first category is <laughs> Carl's greatest hits. Every question comes from a previous Carl round. Ooh. As long as you paid attention in previous rounds and remembered <laughs> the right answers, you should know the answers. It should be fine. Oh man. Oh, uh, that's right. cheating. We're gonna mute all in three, two, one. You're gone. All right. Question number one from Space Oddities. What was the name of the last space mission to use an Apollo space capsule? Question two, fictional science. What movie and or TV franchise is the Transtator from? Number three, fictional diseases. What movie and or TV franchise is the Trixie virus from? Number four, fictional companies. What movie and or TV franchise is TPC from? Number five, a general state of Missouri. 2021 was the bicentennial of Missouri statehood. What city was made its capital when Missouri was admitted to the Union in 1821? Number six. Soda, who makes it? Coca-Cola, Pepsi, or Keurig? The question, squirt, who makes it? Number seven. The other guy. This actress quit Star Trek Voyager a day and a half into filming the pilot episode and was replaced in the role of Captain Catherine Janeway by Kate Mulgrew. Number eight. Feliform trivia. When cats walk, they move both their right feet, then both their left feet. Only two other animals walk this way. Name one of those animals. Number nine, oh, George. fictional computers, or fictional computers if you accidentally leave off the F and you copy and paste. Name the 1980s TV show from the IMDb description. In the dystopic near future, a crusading TV reporter, Edison Carter, investigates news stories with the help of a wisecracking computer version of himself. Hint, the reporter and computer AI were played by Matt Frewer. And number 10, scary movies by bad description. The benefit of having sex in the projection room is that you get to survive the apocalypse. All right, there we go. I don't Break think I remember. The, I remember these categories. I remember these questions, but I don't remember the answers. Uh, Susan, Carl. Susan, I know for sure has heard every single one of these questions and has heard every single answer. Hypothetically, the team with Susan should have an advantage. Oh, go, go we'll see us! See how true that is. I still uh, don't know the answers. Carl, um, I'm assuming that's supposed to say scary movie. See, we, no, so it, yeah, for the new walk, people, this walk, is, yeah. this is a skeptic that is very character. pedantic and has to have every little, Because Avi, movie. we love you, Avi. <laughs> I yes, just that make, is an I wasn't here for that category, so maybe it it's was. It's not a, scary movie. Woo. <laughs> maybe that's a thing. It's a mess. If you can come up, if you can come up with a scary movie, woo, that fits the description, <laughs> I'll consider it. <laughs> I'll give it due consideration. Okay. okay here go the rooms.
with those ones? <laughs> I've seen I all these I questions and heard you. of them. And I just, oh, there's a I lot of veterans on this you. team. Get out I, of here, Carl. I've got yeah, maybe go five. Maybe We're five recording this. this. You can watch us later. Yeah, that's you can true. watch us later when we talk about you. There he is. Yeah, what? don't really, Carl. You can pop, pop into this, watch this room on the recording. Okay. Another room. Space oddities. Thing. What was the name of the last space mission to use an Apollo space capsule? Apollo Soyuz. Yeah, oh, you know this that's one. I not only know this one, but I met all the people from it at a convention. Oh, a fine. Anniversary. Oh. Okay, fictional science. What movie? Star Trek. And or. Star Trek. Trek. Okay. Translator. No, not Trans translator. Translator. Oh. I could tell you what episode that was mentioned. Oh, okay. all right. <laughs> Where's the piece the of the action? Stuff? Okay, so <laughs> this is why I've never had to answer yeah. questions because I, there's so many nerds on the exactly. team that I don't even need to bother. I can't even get the question read. Oh, I only know about half of them. I don't. I don't know this next. Okay, one. Trixie virus. I remember her man asking it, and I. Didn't I remember know this question. I, I thought it was remember. Star Trek. Can you give me the answer so I can put them up? I hope you see this on the screen now, right? Yeah, we can see it. Number one is Apollo Soyuz. Apollo. Yeah. And fortunately, the second word is Russian. Ugh, boo. S -O -Y -U -D. That's all right. We don't have to spell it right. We just have to know it. Okay. That was close enough. What was two? Star what? Star Trek. Star Trek. Okay. You know, I remember all these questions, but I don't remember any of the answers. Star, Star yeah, Trek. It's funny. It's, Star it's, Trek. It's, I knew you had to all put Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Trixie know. virus. Mm, I don't know. I could have sworn that was Star Trek also. I don't think so. I don't think so. I've never heard of it. No, no, no. The answer isn't Trixie virus. <laughs> where is the Trixie virus from? The question. Oh, where's the Trixie virus from? Okay. What TV movie and or TV franchise? Uh, I'm, th I'm thinking it might be the series with, oh, freaking, what's it called? Resident Evil, was it called? Is that, anybody play that series of uh, video games? Resident Evil, yeah. Is that it? Could it be Resident Evil? Let's go with that one for now. No idea. Okay, what's TPC from? Hmm. That sounds like something that is illegal. I, I want to say Blade Runner, but I, I'm just guessing. Okay. Could it be Blade Runner? I don't know. Anybody? Anybody? I'm trying to think, remember. I don't think it's that. Well, I don't think it's I don't, Blade I don't, Runner, but I can't remember. I think remember. we guessed that. But I don't I don't think there's another. That oh, was, that's a fact. That is what you guessed. Yeah, Blade Runner is the Tyrell Corporation. Yeah, okay, that's, so that's, go that's, to Missouri. Not, that's not it then. The bicentennial of Missouri statehood. What city was made its capital when Missouri was admitted to the Union in 1820? Jefferson City, isn't it? What, what city? Was it? What, what was it, Faith? Jefferson City is the capital of Missouri. I remember somebody answering Jefferson City. Yeah. Okay, so is this the city capital now or it was the capital when it was admitted and it's not that anymore? I don't know if the, the capital's changed or not. I think it's worse that we're having to answer questions we had before. Okay, Squirt, I want to say- We're doing awful. Keurig. Yeah, Keurig. I think Keurig. it's Keurig too. Because yeah. I was shocked I was shocked that Keurig did anything else besides the- uh, Yeah, Keurig. I remember that now that you're saying that. Yeah. I don't know this one. So Seven is, she's got a French name, something like, Genevieve Boudet, but I don't know. Does that ring a bell with anybody? Genevieve Boudet. Genevieve. I just remember it's Kate group. I remember somebody I never heard of, so I don't remember. Uh, Let's just put Genevieve. It's, it's a French name, and then I think the second name starts with a B. Bouget. Bouzeau. It's, it's a French sounded Bouchard. name. Does that, does, that, does that actress name ring a bell to anybody? No. Number eight is camel or giraffe. Oh, you Those remember that? Or you don't? Oh, yes. Interesting. oh, yes. Because I, I look at my cat and I'm like, you walk like a camel. <laughs> yeah. I think but we can only put camel. one. Go with yeah, camel. camel. Go with camel. Mm -hmm. We need two. So we need a camel and giraffe. No, 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 we have to no. name one. Name one of them. Well, camel is definitely the answer. That's why they're so hard to. I, I remember nine. discussing this before. Nine is Max Hedrum. Max, Max Headroom. That does sound familiar, yeah. Which I kicked myself because I didn't get the first time. And that one's the one that stuck because I used to watch that whole series. And number I 10, I remember it. No idea about 10. 
Well, I remember oh. discussing this in people's. Yeah, I do remember it too. It's not the day the earth stood still. No, no. it was a boy and uh, a, a, a mm. male and female. They were in the projection room having sex, and the world was destroyed with something that came. Something in the spot, spores. Oh, the pot. The, the, Wasn't it some kind of spores? The could it be the blob? No, it wasn't the blob. It was something obscure. Invasion of the body snatchers? I don't remember no, the kids. They would have had them. sex in there. Nobody has sex. But you're right. You're right. It was something about spores and other stuff. And because they were inside and protected, they didn't smell the, the gas. The day, the day of the Triffids? It wasn't think, anything old. Go. I think it was. Mm -mm. Mm, so Nobody had sex in the 50s. Well, they could have implied it. They didn't show if it. If it was a black and white thing, nobody's having sex. But they didn't have to show it. Of course, they implied people had sex. No, no. Uh -uh. Oh, boy. They might have been in there playing chess or something, but they would never have <laughs> a male and a female in a room together where it could be implied that they might yeah, have been I'm having. I'm going to have to find all scenes and send them to you soon. I think that was only on television. <laughs> People That's exactly what I wanted, Rob. I to have somebody spamming yeah. me with yeah. 1950s, 1950s movies with teenagers with implied sexual and yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. The day of the trip it sounds like it maybe. Yeah, that that jumped into my head for no other reason not than something like Killer Clowns from Outer Space. <laughs> I've seen that. Is that one really? No. Yeah, that is one. There is one. Yeah. No. Yeah. The, the, <laughs> it's a very horribly done bad movie, and like the most expensive prop was a gun that shoots popcorn. Yeah. It's. So, do we have an answer to 10? Uh, I like the a... answer day of the Triffids. Yeah. But is that old? Yeah. Isn't that old? Yes, it is. I think this. I think the is answer, it black and white? I think Day the answer of. to this one is an old film. Really? Yeah. No. You probably were alive at the time it came out, Susan, but I don't know. I thought at least. Hey, were... I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> at least they would be in the 70s. I think it was in the 60s. They didn't have sex in the 60s. Yeah. I'm telling you, it's more recent. Well, they didn't have sex Nobody had sex in the 60s. Excuse me, have you not seen that? Oh, so, Susan, we were born in 1962. Yeah. Six, somebody was having sex. Well, no, no. Not, not on TV. Sex. Not even. Okay, Robin, Robin, my <laughs> my child, the, my day, your day younger than me, two days younger than me. Something like that. So my junior here. Remember <laughs> back in the day, can you imagine? One of those films, those black and white films, is some movie, and it was implied that there was a couple having sex. Oh no, Ricky and Lucy had twin beds. They had twin beds. That's my TV. God, we're talking about television. Movie. That's television. TV. They didn't have. We didn't have those control. Rooms. I'm thinking if it's implied that these people had sex, it would be oh. in a. So Susan's trying color. to talk us out of the last answer because she thinks there's no way that they could have implied that people had sex in the 50s. Susan has <laughs> never seen a John Waters film. Yeah, yeah. apparently not. Or was that in the 60s? My job is to talk people out of the correct answer. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You notice I wrote that answer down because you told us that. In the sixties, they have a ten. All right, I'm I'm happy with whatever you guys put because I don't know. I know right. I know nada. So you want to look at the answers and see if we need to change any of them? No, we're watching as you would. You you did good. Yeah, except I don't yeah. know what the. I don't know if I like the word you squirt. Is. I'm sure that's spelled wrong. Do you know how to spell it? S O S O Y U Z. Yes. So S O Y U Z. U Z, okay. Yeah. yeah, that looks better. Thank okay. goodness. I'm not gonna have to say these answers. Well, we don't have to, but that's okay. I'm fine. Yeah, the Are only one that I, that I think is a guess. Well, there are a few that are guess. Jefferson City, I think, went out positive. That's still the current one, or it was um, maybe Curry? Mm -hmm. We kind of guessed. Oh, we don't have the last name of the actress, and it I'm guessing good. about the Guinevere Bouchard or Bouchard or something like that. Say something French. Bouchard. 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 B e a u. Did you say Andy? Boudreaux. Boudreaux. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh, Boudreaux. Doctor Boudreaux. I never. 
Spell that. Spell that. I think that would be E A U C R O U X. Yes. And I don't think I don't think it's Guinevere. I think it's Guinevere, but I could be wrong. Maybe it's Guinevere. Uh, Ms. Belovex. Can we get out of that way with that? Yeah, that'd be Bauru. I don't think that's right. That's Boudreau. There's no D in it. Where's the D? Faith has spelled it in the chat. I think they, I think Genevieve. Yeah, that's it. Faith got it. Fix, fix it like Faith did it. Okay, yeah. how do you want it fixed? B E U B E A U D R O U X. At least that sounds like it's in my Boudreau. head. Boo. But we're missing the Genevieve now. Genevieve. Genevieve. Well, I took that out because we said it might not be in. Well, we don't have to have a home name, I don't think. Uh, That's true. I think if we come up with our last name. Last name will be good. Yeah. Actually We're more. scoring our own paper, so it doesn't matter. Uh, and we know we, we, all, we all think it's Jenna. We're being recorded. So we're sure, we're sure on Camel. We're sure on Max Hedron. Well, I'm sure on Max Hedron. Blade Runner, we're not sure about. The Blade Runner is the Tyrell Corporation. I want yes. to... So it's not that then. Then what else would it be? It's not Resident Evil because that is the Umbrella Corporation. Mm. Could it be? I remember that. I didn't know it when I when he gave. Yeah, me. I didn't either, and that's why I still don't know. Blade Runner a franchise? Uh, no. I mean, there's more than one film, but I've read the book and seen the movie. But he said he said he's leaving it open. It's a movie or a TV franchise. He oh, just the movie or made it okay. open ended. Oh, that's right, and or. Okay. Could it be like Red Dwarf or? Because no. uh, I haven't seen that. Um, no, it's not Red Dwarf. I've seen Red Babylon Dwarf. Five. I haven't seen that. Red Dwarf. You're talking about for which one? Four. The company, fictional company. Oh, okay. Red Dwarf. Can it be no. from Hitchhiker's Guide? No. I don't remember a company in Hitchhiker's Guide. Well, what was the company that created Earth? Oh, no. Oh, it's was... not TCP. It was. Um... I, I, that was the mice. <laughs> I don't know. It, it was. Um... I don't know if it had a company name. Yeah, it had a company name. It was, but it was deep, a... deep, deep Thought, wasn't it? Um... It's not. It had a company. It's not. It's not Hitchhiker's Guide. It's not that. Um, so wait, was so I'm going back to um, all I know is what it's not. Uh, Could it be? Uh, did Red Dwarf have something to, to do with mining? Yes. So is that possible the mining oh. company? No, what? Yeah. Red Dwarf was the um, Faith. Did you say something? Uh, maybe it could be. It is not. Do you not hear my voice saying why do you think no. it's not? Can you tell us what the corporation was in Red Dwarf then? Okay, hold on. I'm thinking. It was the uh, mining corporation of ba, 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 mining corporation. It was um, mining corporation of TC, TPC. No, it is not. It is. Not Dune. I can't think because you're talking to me. Not, it's, um, not Dune. I don't remember companies in Dune. Um, it could be. It is not Red Dwarf. Something not something mining life. corporation is is Red Dwarf. What's the other one? Judge Dredd, what's the other one? Demolition Man. Uh, Demolition Man, that's the one with, with Stallone and... Um, mm -hmm. No, I don't remember a company in that one. Either. What's the one with Arnold Schwarzenegger where he goes to Mars? Terminator? Uh, no. Not Terminator. <laughs> no. Total Recall, I think. Yes, Total Recall. Total Recall, yeah. So that did have a company, but that was in it, the, the company was Recall. What was the company from Minority Report? Ooh, don't know. I've never seen that movie. Was well, that just run by the government? I really am upset Maybe now. I can't remember what, what was the company works. that created the technology. Mining hmm. Corporation. Dun, 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 mining Corporation. See, you. Could, could it be Soil and Green? Let's go with that. I've seen Soil and Green, but I don't really remember. That's a movie? Yeah, that it was a food. Oh my God! Oh, Susan. <laughs> so you want Silent Green instead of Blade Runner? Yeah, because it's definitely it's, not Blade Runner. It, it, it's not food. It's not movie. It's people. <laughs> it's people. Yes. I'm just gonna do that. They put well, you back. Susan, go into Target and go into the section where they keep all the protein shakes. So <laughs> it is the one thing I will not buy. No. <laughs> 
people I think they have protein in it. I think tin people have protein. protein is a better complete protein than people. People That's with tinfoil hats can say, no, it's people. Don't buy it. <laughs> okay, so I'm ready. Are we that, ready, Carl? That product is actually the product, the thing I discussed as a news item when I was on Skeptic's Guide to the Universe back in episode 402. <laughs> you were an episode. You were in Skeptic's Guide? Mm-hmm. Jeff was on last week. Really? Yeah. Why? What? what, what, what? Yeah, Jeff Edwards was on Skeptic's Guide last week. We watched. Why? They just had a couple of people on, and Jeff was one of them. I'm not. I'm a week behind. Well, it wasn't. Uh, why, where, why were you on, Carl? Podcast, it was a live thing. I won the auction. Oh. Why was Jeff on? Because he's a he's a patron. patron supporter, and so they're bringing patron supporters on. Ramirez a patron as well. Mm -hmm. so Romero needs to finish his training. Yeah. I need to start. I'm going to Patreon him. <laughs> Talk to Faith as well. <laughs> All right, so I'm done. Let's go. All right. Let me. Good job, that. team. I helped no, nothing at all. The only thing I knew was that it's not Red Dwarf. Are we going back? Yeah. Okay. All right. Good luck. It's going to be hysterical, Susan, if the answer is that one. We'll see. Are we the only team finished? Is it time to pull the plug in, everyone? Oh, here they come. We sure lived up to our team name. We, we lived, we did. It's oh, Jupiter yeah. Mining Corporation. Oh, you can't say the answer when we're all here. No, no, this is not the answer. It's oh. it's, it's the answer to something that was hey, not there. Uh, Carl, don't, don't take all don't take this that. personally. Don't take this personally, Carl. <laughs> Oh, did you guys do that badly? Yeah, we did too. <laughs> oh, God, did we ever. Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> In all fairness, I did choose a lot of the harder questions from the rounds I've done. I was thinking uh, that. In all fairness? It, it, oh, in oh, hopes that people would have would have paid attention and remembered the answers. We didn't know there would be a death time. at the end. <laughs> I, you never know. Yeah. No. So I did not choose the absolute hardest question every time. I think it's a. I think it's actually a very clever way of coming up with categories. It too. is, but it was very difficult. <laughs> well, so, I, I, are we ready? We got to pay attention. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The final mission to use an Apollo capsule was the Apollo Soyuz test project. I'll accept Apollo Soyuz as the correct answer. Thank you. Thank you. That was okay. a uh, international joint venture between the Soviet Union and the United States. Oh dang. <laughs> and, and I went to the conference well, in Washington, uh, which was on the anniversary of that mission, and got to meet them all, including one of the one of the uh, Soviet cosmonauts who was the first person to spacewalk. That was very cool. Very cool. Yeah. That's cool. That might have been really cool. cruel. I would ask what the second to last one was. Mm. <laughs> uh, Skylab. Was there a number? Was there a number on this one? I would have to look up what the name of the last Skylab mission was, unless Leonard knows it off the top of his head. Was was this one, was the Soyuz one Apollo 17? No. Of course not. Was it Apollo 15? Nope, it was, was Apollo, it Apollo 9? 
Apollo Does Creed. We have a problem. Apollo Creed. Anything? Okay. <laughs> the translator is from Star Trek. Oh, right. Right. Piece of the action. Yay, Ben. Exactly. Rob's on it. I <laughs> redeem myself. I remember getting that question wrong last time. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> I know what a translator is. What's a translator? They made it up. A translator is the basis of all Federation technology in the 23rd century. <laughs> it's a transsexual uh, potato. Like the transistor no. is to I, us. I think, do, I think Dr. Them. McCoy was just pulling Spock's leg, actually. No, it's a trans. <laughs> it's, it's a trans. It's a transsexual potato. Yeah, it's from it's from Rocky Horror Picture Show. Okay, so the it's Trinity trans. virus is from the George Romero movies, The Crazies, which is his Crazy. more biologically plausible movies than his. Uh, I remember zombies. that we didn't know. I didn't know this movie. I totally know it. The Crazies. Yeah, I, I remember now it. that I, I didn't totally, know it, so I don't I totally feel bad. Got it mixed up with one of the others. Uh, there's someone here who. Last time I asked this next question, they didn't get it right. But after I gave the answer, they said, oh, yeah, I even have that movie. The TPC is from the movie The President's Analyst. Oh, my God. For the phone company. Oh. Totally don't even remember that movie. Insidious no. and powerful organization on the planet. Can we vote on that if we all had a different <laughs> <laughs> Who who has that movie? Deborah. Deborah has it. Deborah has it. I yeah, watched in your it. team, I was like, Deborah, you should know this one. I haven't watched it. In tw I don't even have the right kind of player for it. It's on a VHS. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. Deborah, you need to be rewatching all those old movies now. Yeah, mm -hmm. somebody's got to have this. I, I know Ben got this one right this time. The original state capital of Missouri was St. Charles. Oh, oh, right. Another one that I remembered my wrong answer from last time. Wait, yeah, you had a good memory. We did. Which is just got, north of St. Louis. What if we got the first half right? We got Saints right. Nope, that's no good. <laughs> Does that count? Nope. We we picked a, st we picked a city in, in Missouri. <sighs> you get half a point rounded down. <laughs> so the company that makes squirt is Keurig, also known by the yes. name of Keurig Dr. Pepper. <sighs> See, no! I'm sorry, team. Oh, I had Keurig. Oh, dang. And the actress, the original actress to play Catherine Janeway was Genevieve Bujold. Yeah, close enough. Yes, Yay. we got it. Thank you, Mike. And uh, quite a few teams remembered one or both of these answers. The giraffe or the camel? Yay, uh, Faith, Faith remembered Faith's him. cat. Thank you, Faith's cat. Yeah, we had camel. Walks like a camel. Walk like an Matt Brewer played Max Headroom. Yeah. Hey, all right. Woohoo. And Paula isn't here tonight, but I know she got this right the first time. Night oh. of the Comet. When was that? When was that movie? What was the, the answer? Night, oh, Night of the Oh, I stand guys, my ground. Thank it. you, team. Did, we, did, did you guys hear what he just said? We, we knew that it had night in the title. Does purple, hey, purple monkey dishwashers. Did you just hear what, what he said? It was from the 1980s when it was color. It was not a black and white film. Thank you very much. Yeah, didn't listen to me. Did color in 1980s? Yeah, yeah. You, you were correct. You were correct, but you got the answer by a lot. Oh, of Andy's time. got a kitty. Oh, I like Andy's. Got they a... even had color TV in Canada in the 1980s. Whoa. Oh, look at wow. that kitty! It looks just like my kitty. It does. What's your kitty's name? A lot of, it's a very black. It has a lot of black. Andy, what's your kitty's name? <sighs> Raja. Like Raja. A, yeah, like a Aladdin, like. A... Well, da, 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 da. Raja. Okay. Yeah, like you know, uh, Princess Jasmine's tiger. <laughs> Aww. Kids named it, huh? Raja. So just letting you guys know the last one, they didn't have sex in the 1950s and 60s. Anything was black and white. There That's was no why sex. there's nobody who's in their 60s alive. <laughs> no, I'm talking about on film. It's really if funny. The film that was black and white, and it was released in the 1950s or so. No innuendo. 
about uh, sex. Uh, no boy and girl would be left yeah, in the, the, a the, room the, the, together. The people, uh, what was the name of that one when the people are on the seashore and the waves are knocking them over? And uh, the from here to eternity. Yeah, that was eternity. pretty much black and white, I'm pretty much sure. And, I, and, and, eternity, and then the camera went up into the sky. I'm pretty sure I think I know what happened there. From no. here to eternity. They didn't have sex. It wasn't mm -hmm. even inferred. They were mm -hmm. married. Were they married? The, tra the, tra mm -hmm. the train they were just married. went into the, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cult into the cave real fast. No, it ain't happening. Home. Okay, so let's do our scores. Yes, please. All right, purple monkey dishwashers. Six. Six. Wow. The Project Hell Mary Spoilers Brigade. Five. They shoot horses, don't they? Eight. Ooh. Nice. Ooh. Wow. Thank you, Leonard. 50-50 yeah, for you, now. Leonard. Three. Ooh. What? Three. 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 One, two, three. You want to rub it in? <laughs> <laughs> I do. I think right. the other two mows you too. Yeah, tell us which ones you did not get. <laughs> well, you seem to be lacking candidates with answers. Or, or. Well, there you go. So they have some answers. Very good. All right. Three, three, four, five, six, eight. Six, five, eight, three, four. Okay, so let's move right on and then we will go to our break. So come on, Carl. We know this how this drill works. And, and if anybody's interested, there are copies of the joke round and the actual round in the <laughs> chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid that's going to be the next category. Yeah, that, that, that I was just going to say the same thing, Susan. The next category is surprise. Okay. It really is. No, the next the next category is leftovers with Carl. All questions what? are unused extra questions from previous Carl rounds. Oh my God, Carl! <laughs> nice. Are you trying to kill us? That's a good idea. So we I haven't like heard these yet. Correct. We have not. All right, they're, muting. They're Three, left. two, one, muting. They're not leftovers, they're out of the freezer. Okay. Number one, military mishaps, believe it or not. It's either true or false. In 1956, during a training mission, a US Navy jet flew fast enough to outrun its own bullets and shoot itself down. True or false? Pause for a second, because Isabella's entering the room. And guess where Isabella gets to go? 50-50 <laughs> for now. You played it right. The team got Isabella. Look at Isabella. Woohoo! Oh, you look great. Android. She looks like she's aged. She looks like she's in her 30s now. So Is she wearing know, makeup? I'm, I'm very stressed out right now. Well, good. We've got a category for you. This is great. So Carl's just starting. Oh, you interview. Just you starting. Can you yeah. Have, have it with a headphone so you just listen. We can hear yeah. you. Okay, so Carl. My roommate is going to listen in. Okay, Carl, start yes. again. Leftovers with Carl. All questions in this round are unused. Extra questions from previous Carl rounds. First question is military mishaps. Believe it or not, it's either true or false. In 1956, during a training mission, a U.S. Navy jet fighter flew fast enough to outrun its own bullets and shoot itself down. True or false? Number two, space oddities. What was the name of the last U.S. space shuttle launched into space? Number three, fictional science. What movie and or TV franchise are self-sealing stem bolts from? Number four, fictional diseases. What movie and or TV franchise is the progenitor virus from? Number five, fictional companies. What movie and or TV franchise is Zorg Industries from? Zorg. Number six, The Other Guy. This 1956 movie stars Tom Adams as the second best secret agent in the whole wide world. Number seven, fictional computers and AI. In the 1982 film Tron, this computer was the main villain. Number eight. I will show you a picture, but I'll also have a link here. A general state of Missouri. 
When Missouri came into the Union in 1821, which is, of these maps is what it looked like? Uh, where is share screen? Which of those is what the state of Missouri looked like when it entered the Union in 1821? And uh, make sure you click on the link before we end the round to make sure that you can access the file. So in case I've messed something yeah, up, I know. OK. Of course. Number nine, another one from the other guy. In the TV show Stargate SG-1, when the main star Richard Dean Anderson, who played Jack O'Neill, decided to leave the show, his character was replaced by a different character. Name either the replacement character or the actor that played the replacement character, or actor or actress. Suppose you've never even heard of the show. We gotta make something up or hope somebody our team knows. You've never heard then, of Stargate? Get then out. you get a free point. <laughs> I've heard of it. That's that's the content. Robin, you get one of your nerd points deducted. You're that much okay, less. Okay, number nerd. 10, the mad musical genius of Weird Al. <gasps> Name the Weird Al parody of Billy Joel's Piano Man. Yay! Billy Joel, yay! We had to have a Billy Joel somewhere. All, All right. right. Good job. Know that one. Everyone ready? Yeah. Here we go. Isabella, you're going to pitch 50, 50, 50. There's going to be a lot of guessing. Okay. How do we got, uh, how are we doing with this? Why I think it's false. Why? Yes, well, I think one is false. I do have an opinion about one. That fire is I don't dumb. think that's possible. I don't think that's possible either. Don't no. that mean that it didn't happen in the movie. It could be possible if the bullets were not fired properly. Yeah, I suppose. It says fast enough, though. But I don't think, I don't recall that. The question anymore. specifically says fast enough to outrun its own bullets. If the bullets were not fired properly. Don't talk ourselves out of it. It's false. Mm -hmm. How would false. it be fired improperly? That's true. If they were not ejected at the correct velocity. Go away, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> or they ejected it while they were doing a little loop de loop and no. what goes up. What was the name of the last US space shuttle launch space? Fred. STS something. No, they want their Majesty. They want the, they want, no, I don't think they mean wait, where is he still here? No, he's gone. STS 80? No, I don't think they mean that. That's not the name. They they mean uh, Atlantis never... Discovery, you know, that the name of the orbiter. I was counting on you to know this one, Rob. Well, yeah. wasn't the last one the one that blew up most no, recently? Which no, was... no. That was they, Columbia. They took... yeah. No, that, that was 2002. No, no. It was a successful. The last 50 flights were successful. I, I just don't remember which one was last. No, no Enterprise was not spaceworthy. Never flew in space. Give us, give us some choices of what they could have uh, been. Atlantis, Endeavor, Dis uh, Discovery. Discovery. Endeavor sort of rings a bell for me. Yeah, Wasn't Endeavor does seem like around? it's more recent. We could go with that one. Endeavor? Yeah. I think it's that seen that. Before, didn't it? Endeavor like, is the one that's at um, Dulles. I mean, there, there, were, there were, you know, they were in rotation and they were constantly flying. I just don't remember which one was last, but yeah. Endeavor. That, that, we'll go with that. That's a good guess. What? Um, so, I, I, anybody know this one? They have self-stealing stem steam bolts. Stem bolts. I want to say Star Wars. Would this be Frankenstein? You know, no. bolts no. from the head right here. No. no, I'll argue with you. And his name is not Frankenstein. That is a doctor. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, the movie is Frankenstein. <laughs> Frankenstein's monster was his name. Frankenstein. Or young Frankenstein. Frankenstein's, Frankenstein's technically not non. Is not science fiction. It is gothic horror. What's his stem bolt? No, it's just a thing they threw out there. I think I think uh, Luke had was going to Tashi Station to get some self-stealing stumbles. Power converters. That's why yeah. he was 
Gosh, he's station was to get some power. Yeah, yeah, that it was some. How do you guys remember this random stuff? But I was gonna go to Tachi Station and get some power converters. No, I, need I to actually know what Star Wars in the middle of the I don't. I don't know where you guys remember this stuff. What oh, is well, apparently we're not remembering it, so no one's remembering specifically <laughs> the so yeah. Star Wars is jumping into my head, but I'm not positive. The progenitor virus. I have never seen never this. Never heard of that. Never heard of it. But I bet it's a, not a black and white. Shut <laughs> <laughs> uh, Well. Could it be what they called it in Prometheus? Uh, it wasn't a virus. Let's go with that. So it wasn't it's a virus. like the movie where the whole world was being attacked by a virus, and that was the whole theme of the movie. 28 Days Later? What is it? Is that you talking about 28 Days Later? Because the virus in that movie is called Rage, because it came from monkeys. Um, the Andromeda strain, but I don't. No. Andromeda strain is what I'm thinking. But of, I don't yeah. think that had that name. Okay. I've not read the book, so. Um, don't know. Well, I'll put Andromeda strain in, unless we think of something better. Zorg. Mm -hmm. The Zorg industry. Uh, I want to say Futurama. That's what I was going to say as well. Okay. Yay! Uh. We have, we have, um, we have one consensus. <laughs> yeah, we have two people who independently Maybe. said that's it. Okay, nineteen fifty six when it was a black and white. Now there was no sex. <laughs> it was sex. not a. It was not a like a James Bond type person. Tom Adams. So Susan, you probably saw this movie. What is it? <laughs> Never seen it. I, I was born in sixty two. <laughs> You're old enough to do I wouldn't have seen this. I, I feel 35. Have I have the mentality of a 35 year old. Oh, so, all right, wait, wait. Could, could, could this have been one of the James Bond movies? And it was no. like secondary. Uh, it sounds like a uh, comedy, doesn't it? Best, second best secret agent. Oh, Jimmy. could it be um, uh, one of the old movies? Um, hold on, wait. It's coming there. Not the Pink Panther, but like kind of like a Mission Impossible or a a comedy. Uh, get thing. smart, get smart. Like yeah. well, that guy's name was Adams, but I don't think it's. I don't think that wasn't a movie. Get smart wasn't a movie. It's a TV show. Oh, it was a it was a movie, but that was like only ten years ago. Get smart? No, yeah. Get Smart was a Get Smart was a TV series. Oh, it was when, made into a movie ten years ago. With Steve oh, Carell nobody's watching playing. that. Get Smart is a TV show. Um. <laughs> So I'm thinking this is something like um, I'm thinking it's something like a parody thing like the Pink Panther series, but it's not Pink Panther because that was not in 56. Not 56. But it's something like that where that was his role. I'm the second best secret agent in the world. You know, something exactly. jokey like Sounds like a parody, all right. Uh, Doctor Strange Love was later than that. Was it? Yeah, it was 60s, yeah. right? I don't think yeah, there were any 60s. secret agents in that. 1956. Okay. And I've never even heard of Tom Adams. So. Me neither. Well, that's because he's only the second best. Second best. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try for seven. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Could it possibly be the original James Bond movie? The first? I just asked that and they shot me down. Go with it. Go with it, James Bond. Was there but then we have to pick. We have to pick a James Bond movie. I, I, I don't. Well, it would have to be the very first one. Well, what was, I think it was 1961, there? though. For it may uh, have been. It may have been. I, I, the, the timing may be off. Is it an Elvis movie? Elvis. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's actually a really good guess. Didn't he do a bunch of kind of jokey kind of stuff? Yeah. I mean, a lot of his films Beach were blanket bingo or something. I don't, remember, and... I don't remember any secret agent ones though. Yeah, right. Well, it, it didn't say it's a secret agent film. It just yeah. says this guy played as a the second best secret agent. He could have been. Yeah, is, that is, is that his opinion? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think it's a line that they probably <laughs> said. Man, they said he starred as the second best secret agent though. 
Well, the movie presumably was about him being a secret agent, right? Casablanca? No, that's older, huh? Way earlier than 56. Uh, uh, can we move on yeah. before we don't tackle okay. it for them? Yeah. Is it Tron? 1982? Tron. Anybody remember the computer? Tron. Is it Tron? Tron? Never seen it. Never saw it. Really? I saw it. I don't remember, but Tron. I was in college. Those were some years that I did not watch TV or watch the <laughs> movies. <laughs> was Tron hey, the main Somebody look at those computer? maps. I did not. I couldn't even afford to go to a movie in those days. Oh, yeah, I think it's B. <laughs> B. Hey, was I was I think Tron it's B. the name of, a, of, the, of the computer? Or Atari. Atari. What? It could be Atari. Ooh, would they have done that, though? No. Commodore? No. I can't believe they would have it done that. It was a made-up name. name. So on eight, now, this is my opinion, but I'm pretty sure that they didn't have a little dingle thing. A dingle thing? Yeah, on the map. So that leaves B and D. So it's B because it had well, the D, it had D the other D, D does not yeah. have D does not have the dingle either. Well, D is a straight line, and that's not right. So I think okay. it's B. We're going but, with B. But I would like a second opinion. On I have that. no idea. We'll go with no that. idea at all. We'll I think the little dingle thing was was like a big deal to get the okay. guy added. It has the head dingle, but not the dong dingle. Okay. Okay. Yeah, the little dingle, the little male thing dingling. Down. It's like somebody started a war to invade to get that little piece of the dingle. Oh, God. Shush, shush. Sanctions, sanctions against you. Sanctions. Mute him. Missouri is the land of small dingles. I'm just saying. <laughs> the Did other you? guys. Oh, uh, God. Who replaced uh, Richard Dean Anderson? I didn't remember that happening, but I don't know who. I don't either. I must have stopped watching it before the last season. Patrick so, Stewart. No. No, that <laughs> was not in Stargate, and I never watched Stargate. Oh, I've man. never watched either. I he did, jumps through probably. a big, swirly, round thing. Yes, 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 yes. I don't know. And he jumps through it. I actually watched it. I actually remembered when that happened, but I don't remember who the actor was or what the name was. Tom Adams. Tom Adams. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe that. I, I don't even. I didn't even know this. I mean, I must. I literally must have stopped watching it before the final season. I don't know I, that happened. I think it was earlier than that. Or then it says it actor or actress. Could there be a woman who played? Possible. Ooh. Kima grew. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did uh, the, did the female come back as the lead? What's her name? What's her name? Is, uh, uh, am I way off with Jerry, Jerry Ryan? No, not Jerry Ryan. I don't know who Jerry Ryan is. No, Star Trek Voyager. Yeah, she did board, but... No. Oh, come on. Who played? She, she was... Oh, God. She was a scientist. Um, maybe she was promoted to the lead position. Well, what was the character? We don't have to name the actor. Yeah, I can't, I can't remember it. It's too long ago that I watched Stargate. Yeah. Actually, that probably makes a lot of sense. They couldn't just bring some. Was the first who played the, the scientist, person. right? Yes. Yes. Oh man. Remember. Oh man, she just had. She was just in Travelers, which I just watched like last year too. She had like a three season, three episode arc. Can we move on? I guess Let's so. move on and you keep thinking. Okay, Susan, what is Piano Man and Billy Joel version? Uh, can you can you hum it for me? Piano Man? Um, mm. I don't know. Somebody hum it. Oh, it's Star Wars a long, long time ago. No, long, long time ago is uh, American Pie. No, okay. Da, 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 feeling all right. But I do think da, it. Da, 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 sing me a song, piano man. Sing da, 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 me. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I'm so glad this is being recorded. <laughs> <laughs> um, sing us a song, you're the piano man. But I do think it is a Star Wars. Because Weird Al did two Pie. Star Wars things. One was American Pie, and the other one, which turned into like Jedi? a Sega. Hmm? I'm going to be a Jedi. Return of the Jedi. Well, he did Layla, he did Yoda. So there's three Star Wars ones now that I think about it. 
Soon I'm gonna be a Jedi. No, that, that's oh, to American. That's to American Pie. And what's the other one? So, so her first name is Samantha. Going back to the uh, SGU one. Uh, Samantha Carter. Maybe? SGU. Stargate Universe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. SG one. SG1, sorry. Samantha Carter, I think her name was. Oh, God, how do you know that? Does anybody ring? Is that, is that catching with anyone? I've never, never heard of her. I will. No, never watched it. All right, well, let's put that. Oh, you did, okay. I don't know this one. And I'm so disappointed because I love Weird Al Yankovic. I I, I'm pretty surprised if I've ever heard this one. This does not ring a bell. There's a piano. I don't have any of that were piano music. This is probably one I always fast forward to because I don't like this Billy Joel. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> we don't need to play it. We just need the name. It's probably a saga song. Well, okay. So he did American Pie. He did the Star Wars thing. And he did Yoda. Now he did a third one, and I think this might be it. Well, what was the third one about? Star Wars. So could he have done like the Empire Strikes Back version? How would that sound? Hey. Okay. I just have done 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 done. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Sing me a song, you're not my father, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Your creator is my father, and my father is my enemy, and he cut off my arm. Is a, da -da -da -da. And, and then I plunged him into the sea, and then he fell down, my down, down, down. My favorite, down, TikToker. And then, my favorite TikToker, he plays Mrs. Darth Vader. <laughs> and there's all these little sketches, they're like, Tar! How much more time do you think you need? We're we're trying to sing Piano Man. No, but no, but we've also passed like four of them that we don't have. Yeah. No, how much I didn't think, do you think we passed need? four. We don't have one for number six. I it doesn't matter how much time we have. We'll look at it. So <laughs> let's go with James Bond. James <laughs> Bond. We need a film name. That's a serious. James Bond one. James Bond uh. greatest hits. James Bond. The rich. Uh, no, 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 Gail for a number six. <laughs> Gail is, yeah. Number six. For James Bond, the movie. <clears throat> Wasn't the original oh, okay. one called Casino Royal, even though they named one the, the newest? Yeah, one? that might, I think that's yeah, right. James Bond, that's Casino good. Royale. Casino Royale. Casino Royale. Very good. I don't Very think good. Right I knew Casablanca would enter into so the would, summer. Would you guys freak out if I issued the one minute warning? Nope. Okay. I'm going to be seeing Piano Man for the rest of the night. So it's really we good. Have a, we have a Star name. Wars, Star what, Wars what Episode 3. Star Wars Episode 3. You want to put call it Star Wars Episode 3? Yep. I... Dun, 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 We're special needs today. Dun, okay. But yeah, no. she should check out Mrs. Darth Vader. Because Andy, like, what is it you do up in Calgary? What is your... I was a software engineer for 25 years. Now I'm back in university studying chemistry. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. So hopefully we'll get a category for you. Yeah, hopefully. Software, software <laughs> Sorry, engineer. I can't help yet. So wait, wait, wait. But no, wait, that was number seven was an AI. That's a computer program. Come on. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> what's not the Tron one? I've never <laughs> seen Tron, and I can't believe you guys haven't either. That's uh, no, I've seen Tron. Tron. I've seen, I've seen it. Tron. Okay. I actually saw I saw the sequel. I just don't remember the name of the computer. I've seen the original. Uh, I've never seen it. But, but I haven't seen hardly anything. Yeah, I'm not don't watch it. You know you're movie. uncultured, Susan. I am very uncultured, but good job anyway, team. Yeah. Well, I learned something, uh, Carl, because uh, personally I did much better on the ones that you had already given. So I guess I do pay somewhat attention because these I <laughs> sucked at. <laughs> Well, you don't know you sucked at it. No, I'm pretty sure. I think we did okay. I mean, as a team, we might have done better than me personally, but going in, it's like I was just wild guessing at most of them. So. All right. We all back? Yes, sir. Ready to it go? It isn't a question of whether or not you sucked. It's how you <laughs> sucked in comparison to everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> you suck less than anyone else sucked. Yes. I understand. Everything suckiness. is relative. What is the net such suckage? 
the net relative suckage. Yes. Okay. So, number one, the F-11 Tiger, true, is noted for being the first jet aircraft to shoot itself down. It's true? Yes. Uh, oh, Susan, 21 Susan. September. I didn't, I, I didn't even During vote on that. You guys did. a 20 millimeter bet. cannon, the pilot fired two bursts midway through a shallow dive, and this dive accelerated to a supersonic shallow drive. As their trajectory of the cannon rounds decayed, ultimately they crossed paths with the Tiger as it continued to dive, and it was hit by several rounds, and uh, mm. it had to crash. The pilot did survive. There's a lot of uh, well-done YouTube videos discussing this, and there's numerous articles on the web that discuss it very well. The, I have a link to one of them in the chat. I apologize. Did anyone get that in? I think one I team did. did, unless they changed their answer. Yeah, I did. I got it. Uh, I, I read it on Snopes a few weeks ago. Oh. Ah. That, that I, I was wondering if anyone yeah. remembered that when I did this round, only one answer was false and all the others were true. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we that even discussed that. The unused question as well. Uh, glad you tried to make up. I, uh, Leonard remembered that the last space shuttle was, to launch was Atlantis. Oh, Jeff Karen. We guessed. Specifically on mission STS-135. We didn't get that factoid. Well, we had to narrow down to Atlantis and Endeavor, and we picked Atlantis. Self-sealing yes. Thimbolts first debuted in Star Trek, specifically Star Trek Deep Space Nine. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> One episode 15 yeah. progress, and they continue to get mentioned here and there occasionally as an inside joke on the show. Oh man, we sucked. <laughs> I blame Rob. Involved in a very intricate trade deal. Yes. Wait, you blamed Rob? I'm blaming Rob. Why? Don't do well. You see some uh, opinionated in our group. A really, really fun. Did you episode. guys not get that one? Let's get started. Rob didn't get that Genitor one. Genitor virus number four is from Resident Evil movie. Ah. Oh, Resident Evil. Oh, there right. you go. That's that's where Resident Evil was. <laughs> Zorg uh, Industries. No, oh, whoops. Copy the wrong thing. Copy. Zorg Industries is from Fifth Element. Woohoo! Yay! Saw that one recently. Better. Great movie. Great movie. I love that movie. So uh, you need to Thank stop recording there. for a second, Susan, so I can. Uh, play. So the so the movie was called the second best. The name of the movie <sighs> is. The second best secret agent in the whole wide world. You're tricky. <laughs> You're awesome. tricky. Hey, Carl, Carl, I thought you said it was a 50-something movie, but the Wikipedia says it's a 65 film. Typo. Uh, maybe it was re-released in Sammy Davis Jr. He, was he, he probably transposed the six and the five. And, and That's it really, why we got it wrong. I mean, most of our conversation was about what happened in the 50s. Oh, crap. Yeah, you Andy, wouldn't have got it anyway, but we did. Yeah, like anyway. Andy's That's right. a good point. We would not have got right. it. Anyway. We all would have got it, Andy. If oh, yep, yeah, I made a dyslexic typo. I reversed the six in the yeah. Box. We thought it was fifty six was too early, but we couldn't think of anything. Never, never heard of that movie. We would, would have had it movie. otherwise. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, you would have had it. Down, so. down right away. Because people I, had sex in the sixties, but not. I demand a recount. Yeah, we wouldn't have gotten it anyway either. Yeah. This is the title. Emmy Davis Jr. Okay. <sighs> In the movie uh, Tron, <sighs> I will accept either the MCP or the Master Control Program. Do we get extra credit for both? Uh, no. You get bragging rights for both. No credit if you didn't put programs. We'll use those. Yeah, you <laughs> gotta put parentheses. <laughs> Do I get anything for no, it was played by David Warner? No. Uh, you get Target. extra bragging rights. No idea. Who that oh, is. I'll use them. I'll use them. So, uh, B. now on the map, A is a current map of Missouri. But when Missouri entered the Union, it looked like C. Uh, <laughs> the digital border was just that Shit. meridian. And uh, later on, the Missouri purchased some land from some Indians and the, the, that part of the border became the Missouri River. Sorry, team. Wrong dongle, Susan. Wrong Sorry, dongle. team. Sorry, that much. Did yeah. anybody get it? Did Ben get it? 
<laughs> no, <laughs> just because I used to live there means uh, squat. <laughs> okay. We Leonard was sniffing so close to this it. one, but I don't think he got there. I did eventually remembered Cameron ben Mitchell. Oh, from Cars Game. I, I, I remember the actor's name. I couldn't remember the character's name. And I, I did eventually remember the character's name, but not the actor. But that counts. You said either the character yep, yep. or either. Yeah, or. Yeah, we, we get a point. Yeah. Well done, Leonard. I don't, I don't like Leonard. Well, we already knew that. <laughs> and then I'd like you if you were on my team, for, but not. For number 10. I, I love Leonard. No, he's was number, not number nine. Team. Number nine. That's the one we just discussed. Number nine was Cameron ben Mitchell, played, played by Ben, ben Browder. So for number ten, uh, you should stop the recording again, so I can share Ooh. screen again. Uh, clever. Sorry, team. Yeah, I always skip it. over that song every oh, time I hear it. Hero. I have that album or disc or whatever it's called, and I skip. Would you it accept time. "Sling Us a Web, You're the Spider Man"? No. No. no I got the name hero. of the title. Yeah, I got it wrong then. Oh, oh damn it! Oh boy, did we! Ever, I would not have bet money on that. I didn't know it was called Ode to a Superhero. You were talking about it before when we had the world, the Weird Al category. Vincent Vincent was singing it for us, but we got the wrong category. I didn't know the title. I knew the words. Sling us your web. We were able to hum it. I thought it was the Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, we thought that's it was Star Wars. That's actually Star the Wars second Wars Billy right. Joel's. Uh, Ugh, I hate how, that song. He, did. he did another one. That Billy Joel did not support, and there was big controversy over it. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was. You're, uh, you're interested. Still, instead of still rock and roll to me, it was still Billy Joel to me. Oh. Uh, that yeah, I've always just fast forwarded this. Alrighty, Rupi Roo. Okay, so let's do our 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 scores. So 50 50 for now that just got Isabella. Six. All right. That's awesome. <laughs> We seem to be lacking candidates with answers. Uh, let me just check. I should just say 50-50 for now is in, in the lead. For now. Stop the account. Stop the account. We, we got a whole two. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, wow, 50-50 for now is still in the Boy, lead. I'm not making any friends with that team. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, well. the Project Hell Mary Spoilers Brigade. Six. Aw. Oh, double digits. Okay, purple monkey dishwashers. So Susan, I've, play, I've played all but two of your games, the, the Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve or whatever it was, and I've never been on a team that got this score before. Zero. Zero. Oh, oh, Top rule. We only have six. Something before Rob did. How could we have zero? We got none of them well, right. We're dumb, but we're still trying to find <laughs> You're going to make up for it next time. Next round is yours. Oh, my God. They shoot horses, don't they? You're on mute, Deborah. I think we had five that comport with others. And you're now in the lead. Uh, oh, yeah, that's we're in awful. second place. We had we're zero. We moved up to second. And oh. zero. How well, you know, have zero. Well, we would have, we would have had one if you guys believed me about the plane being shot down. Yeah, that was <laughs> well, the same. You I guys were so true, quick on the draw that it was false. Didn't I didn't know. even think about it. Yeah, and I, I remember you said, "Don't think yourself out of it," like you always say. But no, I. I, I feel really bad. Okay, because I thought well, I knew the Missouri one at least because of the little. Well, these, these were tougher questions. That's why they didn't make the cut in the other round. Yeah. yeah. All right. So hopefully, after the break, you're going to give us something that we can actually get some points on. Because I'm getting embarrassed right now. All right, so everybody, put your best smiles on. Here, let me get my my um, drop bear in the picture a little bit. I gotta have my drop bear. So yeah. we're gonna take a picture now. Everybody, give yeah. you a nice smiles. Okay. Here we go. One, two, three. You guys are so cute. The way you guys get all ready and everything in the picture, it's so cute. Night. Okay, got it. Night. Night. Bye, Abby. Bye, Make okay. sure to water your sprout. <laughs> yep. Okay, so we're taking a five-minute break, y'all. Um, do not um, say anything bad. I'm leaving the recorder running. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh, we're going to say all kinds of bad stuff. can't talk about, about ARPCOM then. Damn it. He doesn't know anything. Susan. Yes. You want to know what's trending on, on TikTok right now? No, don't say it. Why? But. So everyone's calling Vladimir Putin Vladdy Daddy. <laughs> Vladdy Daddy. Vladdy and Daddy. what's happening is everyone is going into Vladimir Putin's um, Instagram account and like putting stuff in his comments like, this isn't you, Vladdy. Look into my eyes. This isn't you. You need a Snickers bar. And like, Vladdy Daddy, you, weren't, you didn't take your meds today. Like, Vladdy Daddy, I won't give you that nighttime kiss if you go to war. Like, all this, like, that's oh my awesome. goodness. No, it's too, too late. He's already done it. And and I can this only imagine what's happening to coping. this Wikipedia page today. This Which is how my generation is coping. Oh, yep. I, yeah. Oh. yeah the, the equivalent didn't happen when uh, when uh, Russia when uh, Germany rolled into Poland. It, you know, there wasn't a yeah, bunch hey. of social media. There was no TikTok. Right. No, there's oh. all these TikToks like the feminism leaving my body when the draft happens and all this other stuff of people like cooking and baking and like doing all this other stuff. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a soda. Does anybody want anything while I'm up? Yeah, I'll take yeah. an ice cream. Oh, right. I'll, I'll take. I don't have soda. any ice cream. How about oh. cinnamon rolls? I have soda. a cinnamon roll, so I think yeah. that's a great idea. Thank you for reminding me, Deborah, with a big glass of cold milk. I'll be right back. Oh, sounds good. Uh, <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> some nachos. Come in. Andy, funny. All right, let me go see what's in. Uh, uh, watch for one more person coming in. Oh, my God. Somebody just typed out the entire song lyrics to uh, Never Gonna Give You Up on his Instagram. <laughs> no, it's really, no. One of the comments is, oh, hey, Vladdy Daddy, can you not? World War Three is so 2020 XOXO. <laughs> <laughs> then we have first time dying, guys, kind of nervous. Vladdy Daddy, you're being naughty again. Don't be a bad boy, Vladdy Daddy. <laughs> What is interesting is the big schism in the uh, Republican Party now. Oh, well, God. I saw the one of the. I think, it was, I think it was <laughs> no, one of the senators. Like, some, like some Republicans are actually making logical sense, and then others. Yeah. Some of them. Just you can never have too many schisms in the Republican Party. Right. <laughs> well, there was one senator, and he said something like, "You know, like it was." It was something that was like, how about have a glass of vodka and like just chill out and don't start a war. It was some kind of like yeah. comment like that. Well, doesn't the Senate ac accept uh, the contributions from other countries like Russia? They're not allowed to. Uh, they don't have to report where they get their funds from. No, they do. Are They're you sure? Because I'm pretty sure that <laughs> I saw something that said that. <laughs> yeah, all their con all their can can contributions have to be uh, reported in there. It's uh, illegal to accept uh, foreign contributions. Mm -hmm. Yes. And if they receive per anything they receive personally, they have to report to uh, on their uh, dis financial disclosures. Now, what happens if, say, they would go and say, OK, we will go and give money to this super PAC and the super PAC then uh, uh, says it's from them. So you, they go around, around and uh, uh, indirectly. They could probably do that. Well, they, because, the, the, the PACs, because these PACs don't have to say where they get their money. Uh, they <coughs> cannot accept foreign contributions. But even if, if not, yeah, but who's to know? Mm, I don't know what the rule is on reporting. Uh, I mean, this is why there's always there's always these questions about where's all this money coming from, and and I think yeah. a lot of these super PACs don't have to say anything. Mm -hmm. I mean, unless they get audited, they don't. Law, it's still yeah, yeah, like, but they still have to hold because they're still if they're if they're still con super PACs and stuff. Even if they're non for profits, they still have to keep everything in accounting. But the problem is, is that by the time somebody looks at it. It could be years down the road before they can do the forensic accounting to see where the stuff is from. Well, because it's the same guy who's did do the account would do the auditing that are doing the auditing for uh, Trump's uh, uh, taxes. Yeah, not necessarily. Uh, I just... It's not necessarily. It's it, they 
underfund a lot of this stuff, but they do find it. And it also depends on who's in charge of the administration if they decide to prosecute. And it can continue to follow for decades because I know somebody that is still has a lawsuit with the Security and Exchange Commission that has been going on since Bush was in office. Mm -hmm. And I don't think it's been resolved. Yeah. I just, uh, on the super PACs, they do have to disclose their donors. Mm -hmm. They do. Right. Yeah, and it's a public record. So even if they don't have others, you know, auditing it, it you, know, you know, at least we can see where it's coming from. And we've caught people taking campaign contributions from where they shouldn't. Right, yeah. But if they um, get prosecuted is another situation. One of the issues is whether they uh, were aware of it. Uh, one one uh, uh, congressman here in California, his dad took uh, contributions from a foreign source and donated in his name. And son, the congressman didn't know about it. That that was, or there's no evidence that son knew about it. And so dad was uh, convicted of uh, of a felony of that. Or, but uh, son was not sanctioned. I've got my cinnamon roll and a glass of milk. You can't send it over to everybody oh, else. Oh, it's if so you, good too. You Susan, share. did you see? Susan, check what I just sent you. And chatter on Facebook. Uh, Facebook. Facebook. I have rose tea, which is probably way better than your cinnamon roll. Ugh. Applebee's commercial. Yeah, it was during the air raid. This Applebee's commercial came on and like totally ruined the like. It was about like chicken. Putin on the wrist. <laughs> oh, there it is. On. oh my god! <laughs> Putin on the oh wrist. Sure. It does. Did you send this to everybody here? Let me put it over here. You guys can look at it if you want. Oh man, that's not good. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Oops, I just sent it. Yeah, I sent it to everybody. You might want to check that out, you guys. It's pretty funny. Okay, so we're back and we're still recording. That's great. And most of you are still here. I appreciate that. So I've started putting, I put up the um, picture. If, if you guys, the two people who are new, you, if you're on Facebook, you can friend me on Facebook and you'll see there's a picture of yourself up there. Please tag yourself and get to know other people who are there also. Please do so. And uh, we have a few announcements today. Carl, with a K, is still, that's right, he's still doing our thing, so that's fine. Richard Saunders isn't here today. Jeff, from what I understand, is on the SGU, uh, about an episode ago, I think. Somebody told me so, so I don't listen to the SGU, so I don't know. And Kyle, what do you got coming up on the show? Well, this week on Data Skeptic, we're going deep into this k-means clustering algorithm still so we talk about two things actually we've double shipped one is how you can use this on images and perhaps more interestingly how you can use it to track elephants so that's this past week on data skeptic elephants yeah both fascinating episodes is it have anything to do with republicans can you track the elephant in the room um <laughs> with a big stretch maybe both <laughs> Oh, interesting. So that's on Data Skeptic Podcast. Indeed. I don't think I have anything this week, do I? Or the last couple of weeks? No, I don't think I have anything new. So that's very good to know. Um, does anybody else have anything that I need to mention? I have an announcement for people in Monterey. Okay, tell me. Um, so if you're in Monterey um, and you want pizza on s Monday, uh, my Outrigger Canoe Club is doing a fundraiser at Pizza My Heart Aww. on my Facebook. Pizza My Heart in Santa Cruz? In Monterey. Yeah. Um, 30% gets yeah. donated to the club. Um, all the information is on my Facebook. Started. Here, I'll yeah. share it on my Facebook page. <laughs> okay. Pizza. Oh, no. Because the one in Monterey at the, uh, the yeah. If you mention the club, the club will get 30%. We're trying to fix our well, some of our boats, but yeah. Don't bother. I'm Even though I'm not sure there to support my mom, I think my mom's going to go and get a slice, but yeah. Which day? Us uh, on uh, Monday. Mon Monday. This coming the 28th, Monday, okay. yeah. So, yeah. 
Maybe okay, I'm sharing it on my Facebook page. Thank you, Susan. Guys, yeah, so we'll, we'll, we'll order Doctor. in for the office or something. Thank you, Susan. Yeah, mother, Thanks, Robin. Stuff on the counter. <laughs> what do I hear? I hear something, somebody talking. What do I hear? I don't know where I hear it, but I don't know. I hear something. Um, you know, I, I haven't heard, and I want to know a little bit more before we start back, since we're back quickly, is that we have two people who are brand new that are in FICA, FICA, FICA? Yes, hi there. It's me. How are you? How do you say your name? FICA. FICA. FICA is here. So that'll be great because FICA is going to um, be here for round three. So that'll be great. And I wanted to know what is this group that you guys, Larry, picked you guys off of? It was called Minds Without Borders. What was that? Can somebody tell me what that is? Yeah, it's called uh, Minds and Hearts you, Without Borders. Uh huh. Sorry, it's called Minds and Hearts Without Borders. Mm hmm. Is it a discussion group or what is it? Yeah, that's right. It's a discussion group. Yeah. And you're, where, you're where are you from? Where do you live? I live in Ottawa, Canada. Okay. So why is it without borders, but you guys are all in Canada? <laughs> We're trying to expand. <laughs> Okay, no, um, there, there are many people from all different parts of the world, so. It just happens that the three that are here from that, are all, or four, yeah. are all from Canada. Well, yeah. the friendly Larry, ones. Robert. <laughs> Huge coincidence, yeah. And Andy and Fika. Is she oh. you're in Ottawa? You're in Ottawa? Uh, well, I'm in Ottawa. Yeah, okay, so where'd you leave your truck? <laughs> oh, I parked it, I parked it in downtown. <laughs> <laughs> so do you all, there? Do you all meet on Zoom? Is that how you get together? That's right. That's right. Okay, so so I do have one thing, Susan. Uh-huh. It's in advance. This would kind of save the date. Um, so most people would have probably heard of Havana syndrome. And uh, CBS mm. 60 Minutes did a report about how people are being attacked in the US, even at the White House. And all the media is taking it uh, credulously. It's just true. It's happening. And uh, it, the, the position by psychologists is that there is uh, nothing going on that is real except a mass psychogenic illness. So I'm going to be interviewing the expert on that subject for the Philadelphia Association for Critical Thinking in just about a month. And I'm putting the notice where you can register to, uh, be, to join us for the live stream on Zoom. That'll be really fun. So that's the Havana. I don't know about fun. A lot about that coming up. I looked at the Wikipedia page for this recently and found it to be surprisingly accommodating to the idea. Yeah. Of, of what? what? Battle to the that. idea of what? That Havana syndrome might be an actual attack. Oh, so you know, yeah, because because this is the battle we've been fighting. In fact, this is why of, we are in the trouble we're in. Part of the trouble. Because it's of that, of that's right. Trying right. to get the Havana syndrome to say mass psychogenic right. Right. illness, which was right. a battle to get that on the Wikipedia You, you should have seen it a month ago. Right now it says undetermined. It used to say either sonic or microwave weapon. Yeah, that's the one I saw. Oh, right now, now it says indeterminate, unless they've changed it in the last few days, the last time yeah. I looked at it. But but it is it is reams of words about... So the, so the problem with Wikipedia, or the, the thing with Wikipedia, is that it has to follow what reliable sources say. And JAMA said that it's real, and the U.S. government says it's real, and all the media says it's real. So that's the problem. So it's a mess, and that's where we are. And we, from that, is why we're in so much trouble with. Uh, yeah. So, 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 two people who know the other, or, or would give the other side of this, including the one I'm interviewing, wrote a book in 2020 called Havana Syndrome, and explain it right. There are no official book reviews of this. In fact, I'm doing a book review this weekend for it, for Skeptical Inquirer. But there is no book reviews of this, except on Google. Like there, there's no, the New York Times ignored it. The Washington Post ignored it. And I'm reading the book now, almost done. There's no way you can read this book and believe it's real. <laughs> well. Spoken like a true well, disinformation agent. Yeah, crickets are real. The agents, are real. The, the agents being assigned to Cuba were played noises. Be aware of these noises and tell us if you feel ill if you ever hear these noises. And then later, it's like, oh, those are cricket noises they were playing for them. All right. Good job, everybody. Oh. Carl, you're back. Everybody's back? Yeah. And uh, if I can, you're just, you're going to be on the team that's called, ooh, this is a bad name for your team. It's called, <laughs> We Seem to Be Lacking Candidates with Answers. 
And so she's joining that team. That's the name. Sorry. We have very strange <laughs> team names. That's, that's, we have that's very strange. strange. It was that or purple monkey dishwashers. So no, I'll take the first one. Okay, so you're going to be on. <laughs> oh, you. we need you. Because the people on that team are very nice. And so. We did lose one of it. our players, by the way. You what? We did lose one of, we did lose Avi. Yeah, but we need uh, help. Yes, but we're we need help. Lose. Yeah, but where, yeah, why but did you in misplace first him? Place, and you got Isabella. <laughs> you got Isabella. Yeah. All right. So here we go. So somebody, somebody fill FICA in on what's happening. FICA, have you used breakout rooms before on Zoom? Yes. Okay. Yes, I have. Just follow, follow the lead and you'll be fine. Okay. So Sounds good. Thank you. Go ahead, Carl. All right. Movie mystery theme round. I will Peggy. read what is basically the IMDb descriptions to movies. You figure out what the movie is. And uh, for a maximum of 10 possible points, the bonus is what is the specific common theme or element to all of the movie? And I should mention, Fika, and to the other two new players, you don't really need to know trivia. So don't worry about it. Okay, just, 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 it's just a side that, effect. That's of how come we got zero last round because we didn't know trivia. We, we without shame have zero Yeah, so don't worry about it if you get, if you don't know anything. You know nothing? That is my life yeah. normally. Yeah. We don't know, even yeah, we don't know shit. And, and, okay. and it's a team effort. So don't, you know, don't worry until you get in the break room. Don't type anything into the chat. And don't, don't say, say anything. anything. Don't say anything. All right, don't we're going to mute. Read your chat. Chat's Three, two, one, muting all now. Okay, number one, Steve McQueen stars in this 1968 movie where an all guts, no glory San Francisco cop becomes determined to find the underworld kingpin that killed the witness in his protection. Number two, 1980, a man rejoins his brother after being released from, from prison but the duo has just days to reunite their old band and save the home where the two were raised. Number three, 1971, a pair of New York Police Department detectives in the, in the Narcotics Bureau stumble onto a heroin smuggling ring based in Marseille, but stopping them and capturing their leaders proves an elusive goal. Number four, from 1977, Bo Darvel is hired on to run a tractor trailer full of beer over state lines in hot pursuit by a persistent sheriff. Number five, from 1998, Robert De Niro stars. A freelancing former US intelligence agent tries to track down a mysterious package that is wanted by the Irish and Russians. No point bonus, does Sean Bean's character in this movie die? Number six. 1969 movie, which was also remade in 2003. Comic caper about a movie about a plan to steal a gold shipment from the streets of Turin by creating a traffic jam. Number seven, 1971, Steven Spielberg's feature film directorial debut. A business commuter is pursued and terrorized by the malevolent driver of a massive tractor trailer. Number eight, 1974, remade in 2000. When a South American drug lord pays a man to steal 48 cars for him within five days, all but one of them are in the bag. Number nine, 1981, in this post-apocalyptic Australian wasteland, the cynical drifter agrees to help a small gasoline-rich community escape a horde of bandits. Number 10, 1974, down in their luck racers, Larry and Deke 
steal from a supermarket manager to buy a car that will help them advance their racing chances. The escape does not go as planned when Larry's one night stand, Mary, tags along for the ride. Number 11, what is the specific or common theme or element to all these movies? And I'll just make a note. If, for instance, the theme was fighter airplane dogfights, you couldn't just say they're about fighter airplanes. You'd have to say fighter airplane dogfights. All this right. Is point. This is for a bonus point, right? Yes, for a okay. maximum of 10 possible points from the 11 questions. And there's no point for the Sean Bean question. That's just a fun little add-in. <laughs> okay. All right, ready? Yep. Here we go. Okay, Fika, I'm putting you in room five. All these are both hard cases. And I, I think about... I know one that nobody else is gonna know. So that's great. I know about three of them. The only one I got is number nine. At least we're not going to get zero this time, right? Okay. Yes, we will not get zero. zero. You're not going to get zero. Okay, go to number one. This this is a 1968 movie with Steve Steve McQueen. He's he he stars as an all guts, no glory San Francisco cop who becomes determined to find the underground. It's got the best car chase scenes, and I think that's the theme: is car chase scenes. So number one is um, Dirty Harry. My husband says it's Bullet. What? Dirty Harry? No. That My husband says the, the name of the movie is Bullet. Yeah, you're right. Okay, Bullet. But the guy Susan. is the guy who plays is the guy who plays Stephen McQueen is is uh, Dirty Harry, right? No. That's Clint Eastwood, isn't it? Yes. Okay, never mind. Just ignore me. That's not hey, one of the hey, ones oh. I knew. So this is a 1980 film where a man. This is Blues Brothers. Blues Brothers. Yeah, Blues Brothers. Okay. All right, the NYPD cops. French Connection. Is it? Is it? Oh, I, I don't know. Does that ring Wait. a bell with anyone? I've never seen it. Oh, Sounds like what I've yeah. heard of you. You don't know any of these. They? They're movie questions. You don't know. Uh, no, you don't. Yeah, no, you don't. I've been married to you for 10 years. You don't know these. <laughs> oh. So we named our first three cats after the fourth question. No, I know what it is. What is it? Our two cats were Smokey and Bandit. Smokey and the Bandit. Oh, oh Smokey and the Bandit. And then our third cat was Carrie, which was the uh, the, the woman who wasn't talked about too much. But yeah. Why would you name your cats after Smokey and the Bandit? Because that was my wife's favorite movie, because she liked Burt Reynolds. Oh. Okay. So De Niro is a freelancing former U.S. intelligent agent. Wow. Well, I just uh, watched this one. If somebody oh. names off some De Niro films, I'll, I'll know it. It's no. it's a single word. No idea. Is it an S like Spartaco or it's something like that? Where it's Serpico? 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 Is it Serpico? 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 Mm. We might no. have to revisit that. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask my husband again. All right. They remade this in 2003. Mm, does not sound familiar that that plot at all. Anybody? Uh. -uh. Kid it fast. Yeah. Comic caper movie. Does not, don't know. Does not ring a bell. Could it be a Spider Man, Superman movie? Was it a caper movie? Comic caper. What is it? Comic oh, superhero thingy. I don't know. Uh, stealing gold is too small of a thing for a Spider Man movie. Turin in Italy? Yeah. So all these things are going to have in what common you know? is car chases. That, that yeah, makes car sense. chases. That, that yeah. So what would can can you think of something that might have been happening that would have a car chase? I mean, it's not Spider Man, obviously. I don't know. Oh, could oh, this no. be Ronin? Ronin? Yeah. Ronin. Ronin. Yes. Okay. Ronin is number five. Yeah, oh hush. No, number five. Ronin is number five. Yeah. Never heard of that. Ronin. Is that right? It was a weird movie. Yeah. I don't know. Andy, is that right? Um, might be. Yeah, that's either I N or E N. Yeah, made, it's you spelled it right. It right. made me remember yeah. of the car chase. There's a, a big car chase in it. Yeah. Okay, yeah, that's good. So we're pretty sure this is car chases. 
So let's go to seven. That's dual. Oh, that's the one. With dual. The that's the one I knew. You knew that. What is it? Yeah, I knew that. I have that what? DVD. Oh, you got to be kidding me. What is it? Dual. dual. As dual. in a pistol fight, a duel. I had no idea anybody else has seen that movie. I did not it know is. that it was Steven Spielberg. It is the scariest movie in the mm -hmm. world. You I've never heard of it. Duck Driver. I've never seen it. It's, it's a, terrifying. It's, it's a it's a thriller. It. It's a thriller, really. Oh, it's based so scary. off a Stephen King novel. It's just a random yeah. trucker who's yeah. following this guy around, trying to run him off the road, yeah. and he's yeah. a salesman. And you know, there's no reason for it. There's yep. no reason yep. for him to do it, and you they, never and see. You his never face. see the driver of the truck. All you right? see is, yeah, is this poor guy is, being assaulted. Yeah, I am really upset at you, Rob. Is number eight Fast and the Furious, Rob? What? I'm upset at you. Yeah. Is no hold on. I'm what not sure, Gail. What is I do? Number eight. Okay, Fast I can change it. I don't know I'm that. upset because I know so few, and I knew that one. So we okay. both said it, so that's good. No, but it's not so, fair. Okay, we get on to number eight, children. Thank you. <laughs> He's number eight, Fast and the Furious. I've never seen one of those. I so think I don't know number it. never seen it. Oh, but it sounds right because it sounds like it's got a car chase in it. Yeah, I think this one's Mad Max. It is Mad Max. It is Mad Max. Mad Max. Mad Max. Okay. Nine is Mad Max. Yes. We need the full name. Was it like Beyond Thunder or no, something? No, that's a Beyond Thunder is like the second one. It's just Mad oh, Max. Okay. Down on their luck, racers Larry and Deke steal from a supermarket manager to buy a car that will help them advance the racing chances. The escape does not go as planned, and Larry's one night stand Mary tags along for the ride. It's not. No, it didn't happen it. in black and white. <laughs> <laughs> it's not herbie is it yeah 1974 you you heard me right herbie? Yeah. yeah herbie the race car wait but there was sex in that herbie i don't I know add, it's a disney add, movie add probably one. not herbie? herbie herbie the love bug is a disney movie my it's, husband says it's a peter fonda movie that makes more sense not what is herbie yeah no, no. But I don't know. I don't know what Peter Fonda movie. It no, could it's be. not Herbie. Mm -hmm. Herbie would not know. have a one night stand in it. Uh, nor stealing no. a car from the supermarket. It could have. Oh, that was no, a Disney movie. A, yeah. It could have a one night stand, you know. <laughs> we don't have any night stands in our bedroom right now because they're all in back order. <laughs> they're all what? They're all in back order. Oh, nightstands. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> awful. This actually sounds familiar. Why are you so these are like the world's Larry. best car chases. Oh, Blues Brother is. Oh, amazing. actually, this could be the top 10 car chases that of IMDb. That's probably where he got this list, his movies with the top 10 rated cars. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> that's, that's very likely. According to Roger Ebert. Top 10 According to <laughs> Roger Ebert. Uh, White Houses. Well, but he wasn't. Wait, wait, wait. That, that's going to. That's going to be too specific, and we're not going to get it right if we say that. Well, we just said it. Car so. chases. Don't, don't, no, don't put, don't put that. Car chases. Famous, car chases. Famous car chases. Yeah. Yeah. yeah like he, he said, he said as an example, I wrote it down: fighter airplane dogfights. It doesn't have to be any kind of list. No, don't put top ten because that's not. Okay. <laughs> car chases. That's too specific. Excuse me. Rob correctly okay. remembers the instructions. Yes, car chase film. Is, are you back here, Carl? You yeah, go away, Carl. Go two. away, Carl. Number ten, we don't know. <laughs> number ten, we have no have, idea. We still don't have anything for six or ten. Correct. So these are cartoons, Larry. No, these are movies. Okay, so what is a really good car chase? I don't know. This is not. There was a movie. really good car chase in the most recent James Bond yeah. film. I don't think he means comic as in comic strip. Just he means humorous, I think. Yeah, usually. Not me, it's IMDb. Could oh. it so, be a Pink Panther movie? So it was Pink Panther. <laughs> I'm going to get Pink Panther. What are these answers tonight? Oh, well, that's as good a guess as any because there was a Pink Panther remake in the 2000s. I don't remember what year. Was it really? Yes. I didn't yeah. know that. There was. Oh, because how could you how could you remake the Bing Panther? <laughs> they did. I don't think it. I don't think it does. Uh, Clue wasn't so. it with Steve Martin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Steve Martin did it. Right. Clue so. My God, he is. Yeah, yeah, Clue so. He has got to be one of the funniest characters in the world. 
Did your dog bite? Yeah, we, we, we actually saw that in the theaters when it, whenever that was. Oh, you're old. No, no, I'm talking about the Steve, Mar the Steve Martin version. Wait, Steve Martin redid it? Is he still alive? Yes. Oh, yeah. Alexa, is Steve Martin still alive? <laughs> Oh, oh no! Now, now he's not you going to, go to be. Say it. Now you now just he's not him. going to be. So Andy, we yes, played trivia so one night, and we were talking about a character. We were As talking about now. an actor, and then the next morning we woke up and they were dead. And then it happened again. Well, it's and then it was Betty White. So now yeah. the the joke is nobody's Putin supposed to mention anybody unless well, it's like Donald Trump, Trump or something. Putin. Putin. Oh, Vladimir Putin. 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 We haven't answered then. It's supposed to say, "Has anybody seen?" We need number 10. Uh, no idea. Does not ring a bell for me. Um, when Harry met Sally, I don't no, know. No, it's no car chase. No car chases. I didn't see it. Um, could, could, could that be part of um, Thelma and Louise? I've never seen that, but. Uh, no. No, no. No, they're not Thelma and Louise. How about. Different era, different era, 20 years. What about um, one of those race movies um you know like uh they were in the 70s weren't they like the great around the world around the world and uh whatever no there was that one that that they went like it was oh uh american uh chevy chase did with um vacation vacation movies? like vacation and they went to go to the barbie museum and they yeah, take his kids to the Barbie Museum, and it was actually Barbie. The there was Nazi vacation, movie. there was European vacation, and but I don't know Larry and Deke stealing from a supermarket and then marrying. Well, Larry and Deke probably worked at the supermarket, and they were going to steal from the manager so they could go buy a car mm. and get back. Could that be um, uh, that Mike Myers character and um, where they get stoned in the car? I, I didn't see it, so I don't know. Dog and Tugs, Crazy Adventure, Doug and Todd, or Doug and. Mm. Who is those characters? Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure? Yeah. It has nothing to do with race cars. No, no race cars. Phone booth. Well, it's no. a gas. Is Telephone booth. Is, so is that the one that the guys get smoked? Oh, so smoked? Could it be a uh, Ramiro, Ramiro, Peach and Chong? No. Ramiro seeking the Italian job for number six? No. No, no. Because we said comic caper. It's supposed to be funny. Okay. The only one we have no guess even is 10. 10, and that's... I don't even have a basis for it. Larry and Deke. Okay. Excuse me. Sounds Southern. Oh, Sounds gosh. Southern U.S. Larry and Deke. I don't know. I didn't watch all these movies. I've watched Blues Brothers many times, and that's it. And Duel, you can only watch it once because it's terrifying. Oof. I think it's there. also a Stephen King uh, novella because he did write one about that happening road rage that's the kind of thing he would write i don't tend to read it but yeah yes. yeah i thought i didn't know it was steven spielberg when i first saw that i might have first seen that in the theaters actually now that i think about it or no i think it was like a rerun on television when i was really young yeah it's the first time i saw it as a tv oh movie. do we have any guests for 10 the only one we have nothing on no nope. larry and deeks yeah vacation <laughs> Remember there was a movie called Cannonball Run. Oh, that's a good one. Let's go with that. that. That's a good. That's guess. a really good one. I remember good. that. I didn't. That's one of those those um like race films, yep, right? Yep, yep. It was very good Let's guess. Let's go with that one. That might be it, Robin. Should we put that for? Yeah, Cannonball. Yeah, yeah. That's very good. Did you come up with that, or did your husband do that? No, I came up with that. But I I, I only know that the the name of the movie I never have seen it <laughs> i i just I know the era it. oh, it's about the right time yeah, yeah. you have to watch all these movies now no <laughs> has anybody just not seen, seen has it. anybody not seen blues brothers i've, never, I I've actually seen never seen it i haven't there's too many movies Andy, did you, you say no yeah i haven't i have I haven't seen it either. wow you know what it's shocking when blues you hear brothers. that i love the blues the brothers. blues brothers is incredible like Susan, all these movies came out before Ramirez and I were born. Well, <laughs> not. Well, the remake came out. We, I mean, we were. I was fresh out of college, or fresh in college. You were out of in college too. So, 
1998. I was at a Blues Brothers. I've seen movies that were, that were before for, I was born. I was at a Blues Brothers performance. Many. The Blues Brothers came out and performed for us at Universal Studios, right in right in the middle There's of the There's too place. much stuff to consume and watch now. No, when Blues Brothers say, is a mainstay in different. the world. You you need to watch the Blues Brothers. I'm I shocked. Do not need, I, I did your not homework. Need. I want you to come back next week and tell me how much you enjoyed the Blues Brothers. You just can't get better. Than, I mean, I would sit here and watch. It's incredible with mm -hmm. all kinds of famous mm -hmm. actors and actresses and music and oh geez we can and, the get, and yet and yet i couldn't get her interested in breaking bad no because mm -hmm. blues brothers is fun he's watched it, has, it has, has it has um that star wars babe what's her name Carrie princess fisher. leia carrie fisher carrie fisher in it and she's amazing so she have the, fisher. does she have the buns oh she had no buns yeah. So Rob, you haven't seen it Leia, either? Leia Organza. Nope. Leia Organza. Organza? Yeah, I watched that TikTok. And you guys are not it's hilarious. TikTok? He's like, Andy, are you Leia Organza Star Wars? with her honey bun star? Yeah. Where's that look? Andy, are you a Star Wars fan? Yeah, it looks Kowalski. Andy? Am I a Star Trek fan? Star Wars. Star Wars? No, Star Trek. Yes. <sighs> okay. Right. Well, I was going to say, because it, it has the Star Wars woman in it. Her name I, is Carrie Fisher. Yeah, well, the Star whatever. Wars woman. The Star Wars woman. But it is probably, funny that that we know who that means because, like, before the the last three, the war is the only one woman in Star, the Star Wars. Wars. Woman, are you talking about Bo Katan, Susan? <laughs> yeah, no, no she's not. I'm talking about the original. <laughs> Ray, Ray, yeah, Ray. Oh, the original. Yeah, 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 yeah. I have a Grogu problem, and I don't want help. I am. Oh, oh my God! Have Have you been watching the book of Boba Fett? Oh, we finished it. We've been oh, instead of watching the superb owl, we watched the book of Boba Fett. Oh. We watched all of so, the Inspector Morse and last night seconds. we finished the last Lewis episode. So Wait, you're changing the subject. The last give me give me the, that give me a shush, shush, go, 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 hey, go. The, la yeah. the the next to last episode, I guess it was episode five, was the best hour of Star Wars ever put together. They, I think. they all uh, died on the book of Boba Fett. They the did it all die. There was lots of cameos. No, yeah, it was together. the one with old <laughs> it's I'm, a, shocked. I'm shocked i'm shocked i want to i'm going to do a poll after this it's an suv um saturn Actually, outlook crossover. yeah crossover <laughs> and whatever it's, 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 <laughs> suvs are on truck platforms i know but <laughs> you you don't see crossovers too much when you're looking things up on yeah. various sites <laughs> they just lump it into the suv yeah. category I used to have a rolls a rolls canadley Rolls down one hill, can oddly get up the next. <laughs> okay, we're back. Is everybody back? Everybody back? All right. Everybody ready? Yep. First movie is the classic Steve McQueen bullet. Yes, ah. uh, Greatest chase scene in movie history. Did you With spell much that of the right? driving done by Steve McQueen. Is that Best how it's drinking spelled? game in the world. If you want to die, take a shot every time a hubcap flies off one of the two cars. You will have more <laughs> than eight shots. <laughs> <laughs> Is it spelled like that? B U L L I T? Yeah. Is S H missing? Oh, is it somebody's last name? Oh, bullshit. Two T's at the end. Oh, did I leave up? I didn't yeah. highlight the whole thing. All right. Bullet. Number two. I had to remove the words Jake and Elwood from the INDB description mm -hmm. to make it a little bit hard. Oh, on a mission from God. God. <laughs> okay okay i need to know how many people here have not seen blues brothers because in my group there was three wow what? what karen you haven't seen it oh let's have it as a viewing session. they have a good chicago scene in there you got to see it for that alone. what a fantastic I, movie i am yeah. shocked fantastic right. movie yeah. we existed it doesn't matter if it, it happened matter. before you existed. It's, it's one out? of the best movies of all time yeah yeah, and listen to all these people point. like doing it. If you don't watch it, I'm going to categorize. It's like your opinion, man, that it's the best. As, oh, no. listen, Number three. Listen, as opposed to <laughs> anything else that is opinion. Yeah. Number three is the French connection. Okay. Uh -huh. When As soon as you can talk, you're supposed to say, what did I miss? And then... Number four, I had to remove the word bandit from the INDB description. <laughs> Mm -hmm. 
Do you Number remember five, Smokey too, right? The newest Smokey. movie on the list, Ronin. Oh, Ronin. Oh. Dang it. We made a lot of good guesses. Get but it was not that I, couldn't rem- I couldn't figure that one out. Number six, The Italian Job. Yes, good job, team. Oh. Good team. Seven, Duel. Yeah, yes, this is one of the scariest for movies Faith of all time. Yep. And for face information, not Stephen King, a Richard Matheson story. Ah. Also writer of I Am Legend. Yeah. This is, I didn't know it was Stephen Spielberg. Several Twilight Zone stories. Man, you guys want to be scared. Yeah. This movie will scare the yeah. crap out of you. Whatever you want to have really, scared out really of you. Really good movie. And yeah, I saw it like when I was a kid. Yeah, and I will never really, watch it again. It was really scary. Didn't want to go driving in any deserts on, on a yeah. deserted road, you know, after yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. I have nightmares about that. All, all I remember about it is the scene of this thing coming after, and it's just right. like, I don't, I don't remember anything about the story or the people. It's it wasn't, just, there wasn't much of the story. It was just that. And this is never the seen again. scene at the end of the truck running off the hill. That's they spoiler, saved that's the film for last spoiler. because they did not have enough movie money to buy more than one truck. <laughs> when they destroyed the truck, that was it. it there was, was no more truck. Really? So I didn't know that. No reshoots for and that movie. Ironically, that is the same ending of Project Hail Mary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Karen. And Somebody so right off the road. Oh, Karen. God, number yes. Eight. Yes. Also, the to Thelma and Louise. The- I, did, I didn't realize, Carl, that that was a remake. Uh, I mean, we we got the right answer, gone. but I wasn't sure. Uh, and okay, they okay. also use little minis. Yep. So number nine is Mad Max 2, The Road Warrior. I'll accept either Mad Max 2 or Road Warrior, but you can't say Mad Max. Everyone. I blame Rob. You are I'm an angry. asshole. Ah. <laughs> Rob. Rob's fault. <laughs> and Carl. <laughs> Yeah. Carl is like Carl is like God in the book of Job. He giveth and he taketh. <laughs> Number 10, probably the Good hardest one. one. And I'd be surprised if anyone got it. <gasps> Dirty Mary and Crazy Larry. Oh, Karen got oh, it. Oh, oh, Karen. Right. Oh, Karen. Right. We, we have a we have a ringer. We have a ringer on our I, team. Karen. Is so close. How like, do you have the time to know these things? The my, grandparents, of drugs. my parents and grandparents. Drag me to see this movie when I was like eight or seven or eight years old. It's horrible. It's but horrible. you remember these things. I don't understand um, how you remember all this. It's burned in my brain like any trauma. <laughs> Emotional <laughs> damage. Okay, so the theme is car chases. All these movies are classic car chase movies. All right, cool. Yay, we got you a point. notice that none of these are from later than 1998 because after that certain point, CGI started being used left and right car chases and really makes them crappy and horrible. Uh, yeah. I can't stand the over-the-top fake physics. All these are car chases with real car chases. Did you not like the, the, the huge expensive car chase in Matrix 2? No. Not a I mean, <laughs> what the about the, uh, bus the Matrix the for They Barry. built a highway to do that on, actually. That was yeah, almost yeah, they built 12 fast. miles of highway to make yeah. Yeah. What, Did you what ever about see... the, bus, the bus jump in speed? Yeah, did, did you ever yeah, see fakes. Barbara Streisand's "What's Up, Doc?" and the um, the, the the car chase in that one is uh, is I think the best ever. No, yeah. have you seen it's Blues Brothers? Bullet. Come Alan, have, have you seen, seen Blues Brothers? Oh, yeah, yeah. I have not no, seen the Blues no Brothers. You have the not seen the best car right. chase in the world. So. If you like car yeah. chases? See these ten movies. But see Blues Brothers Chicago. first. Starting with the Blues Brothers, yeah. The Blues Brothers. How, how many the cop Blues cars Brothers were is a great the filming of that movie? <laughs> they ruined the them all. The Blues, Blues Brothers, Brothers is a great the combination. One. The Blues Brothers is a great combination car chase and demolition derby. And yeah. on some of the best music. And oh yeah. yeah. Music. Aretha Franklin right. and if, if I want to see. Brother, sh- and if I want to see Chicago, if I want to see Chicago, I'll watch Ferris Bueller. <laughs> yeah, but who would want to do that? More of it in the Blues Brothers. Yeah, but and, and Blues Blues Brothers has Carrie Fisher in the great crazy yeah. uh, X scene. She is so good. Oh my yeah, gosh! She referred to her as that lady from Star Wars. <laughs> well, she's great. Well, I knew who she was. I mentioned her. You guys didn't mention. Her. You mean Felicity Jones? No. Orange wit. Orange wit. 
Okay, so we've got some rocking scores here so far. So I can't wait to see how wonderful you guys do. So let's see. We're going to start with. Peggy uh, is correct. Sean Bean did not die in Rome. I'm going to put, I'm going to start with this group because they just got their the brand Blue new um, uh, team member, Fika. Let's see how you guys did. And, and she won it Fika. for us. Fika. 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 was a ringer. ringer. She was our ringer. She's our ringer. Yes. She's the best. Can I? Suspicious. Go, <laughs> Fika. <laughs> Oh, okay, nice. so it's it's pronounced FICA. FICA. We got 10. That's, That's a FICA awesome. score, then. That's FICA a FICA score. Credit rating. And the only one we didn't get was Blues Brothers, which none of us had ever heard of. I heard of it. Heard of it. Heard of it. That's how I know it's a, not true. Yeah. I am still, I'm more shocked now. How can you not have heard of it? <laughs> Oh, it's like they were on a mission from God. All kinds of music in that. It's it's reference all the time. Western. It is it is a it is a meme. I mean, it's a reference that you hear. Yeah, I know, like, I know. I see the pictures all the time. You haven't Belushi, seen the Blues and, Brothers. Belushi and what's his name? But the, okay. watch the movie. Okay. All right, and you will retroactively get a thousand memes and cultural references. You right, that you didn't heard. know that you that it was going on from this movie. All right. I'm going to do a full drum. report next week. It's on we were on list. one of the streets All at right. Universal Studios a couple of years ago, well, before the pandemic, and uh, a show started. These two guys come out and start playing, and I was like, "Who are those people?" So that's the Blues Brothers. <laughs> 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 I'm embarrassed for you guys. I'm Make sorry. Make sure though Me that too. you don't accidentally watch Blues Brothers 2000. Oh, geez, no, don't that is I, the, that's not a oh, thing. I've never heard of that. That, that doesn't I, exist. That doesn't exist. And the All right. Brothers, along with Indiana Jones. And the okay, okay, okay. Get off the Blues Brothers, which I think you guys better watch, or I'm going to do a category on it. Purple Blues Monkey Blues. Dishwashers. We retrieved ourselves seven. All right. We're almost in the lead. <laughs> stop. <laughs> stop now. We tied for second. All right. 50 50 for now. Six. Okay. Oh. The Let's Project Hail Mary Spoilers Brigade. Nine. Ooh. Wow. That dang Mad Max got us, Carl. Max? Oh, man. Dang it. We just they had shoot Mad horses, Max. don't they? Horses. I don't want this team to win. What a name to win. Ten. Oh. Boom. Who was your ringer? It we was a did. good team effort. It really Peggy, was. Peggy, pretty Peggy pretty spread out. Rattled off the first five or six, like bam, bam, it bam, 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 bam. That's for sure. Oh, I'm just. I a... didn't. I didn't know Smokey and the Bandit, and I don't. I, I'm glad that I didn't. <laughs> but you knew Dirty Mary, Crazy Larry. No, that's the only one we didn't get. That's the one we didn't get. We okay. needed that bonus. That bonus to get to. Our team. Our team got that one. <sighs> I was all around it. I was hey, like, you know what? Thunderbolt and Whitefoot. <laughs> I just forgot. December 31st, 2020, I did a category on the Blues Brothers. You did, yeah. I already did it. Oh, darn. Well, you can do it again. Yeah. No one yeah. remembers. Just like Carl did today. You could probably redo the, in, the entire night of all rounds that night and see how people do. <laughs> we have proven now we don't have to come up with new categories. <laughs> we can't remember the old ones, so you can read. We can just, <laughs> yeah, just done proof that you guys don't remember the old ones. Okay, so we have got um, some scores there. <laughs> Carl, you're up. All right. <sighs> so, <laughs> Rob, that was. I yeah, I just, record I just Rob making that sound. I had taken a picture of the screen, so I just uh, looked at it. We're uh, in last place by 10 points. Oh my God. So, uh, rounds four and five are both bonus rounds. Oh. And I'm going to make a request that after this bonus round, you do not go online to look up whether you got your answers right or not. Because the next, the final round is very closely related to this round, and I don't want you to stumble across the answers to the final round. Oh, that's scary. Okay. Is it mono rules? Wait, is, wait a second. You can't no. you can't have more than one bonus round. Yeah, I can. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. Proof. yeah, right, right. Precedent, the guy who did five of Oh, yeah, Mike is saying that, huh? The I, man I, who did I four. Precedent. I think it was fun. Okay, no. go ahead. Like, it's like two encores. Oh. This category... Yeah. Could be titled General Presidential Trivia. Oh gosh. 13 yeah. US presidents have held general or admiral officer rank. That's any one star, two star, three star, etc. 
Name any 10 of those 13 US presidents that have held general or admiral rank. And note, for anyone who asks, the word general and things like attorney general and postmaster general is not a rank and does not count. Military general. Right, military ranks. Oh, uh, no, postmaster. Sorry, I got kind of ahead of myself. I muted everybody. Sorry, Susan. That's no real need because it's a bonus. Need I didn't say anything important. So, we so can't what do are you like calling this category, this bonus category? General presidential trivia. So we can't do like General Mills or something like that. Mm. Well, if <laughs> General Mills president. was the president and held a general rank. General presidential trivia. How many do we have to send us to our uh, row? Ten. 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 Ten out of the thirteen. Is this a mono round? Send us to our robes. I would okay, be I mean, really impressed if anyone can you get a points. score more so, than 10? Why? <laughs> 10 points no, of the match. You want to go, yes. Okay. Okay. okay, who's our ringer in this room for the for president? Well, I've got two Washington and Eisenhower. Grant. 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 Truman. Mm, was he? Truman, a general? I, don't I think, think he was a civilian, actually. Yeah. yeah. So it's a general or admiral. So there's Ulysses S. Grant. Said that. What about there's, there's Eisenhower? We apologize, Andy, for an American-centric category. Yeah. So we have Washington, Eisenhower, and Grant okay. so far. Yeah. Mm. Washington, Eisenhower, Grant. Madison. Those are the three easy ones. <laughs> Uh, was Teddy was Teddy Roosevelt? No, 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 no. I don't think he. No, I don't think he was. No, um, it's going to be a bunch of people. We can't even remember their names. Probably. Could you do? Could, could, you, do, could you do a Zoom? Who, who's ever sharing the screen? Do a Zoom on it. Sure. A Zoom. Yeah, large. Well, I'll start naming them. Oh, oh make the. Franklin Pierce. Pierce. Thank you. Fillmore. Mm -mm. Um, Taft, no. Coolidge, no. Andrew Jackson. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew yeah, yeah, yeah. Jackson. That Jackson's asshole. Good. Jackson's one. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. French and Indian War, I think. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew Johnson. Was he? You're just Johnson. naming people now. No, Andrew Johnson was president. Dr. Lincoln. I mean, your name is president, but I don't know that he was separate yeah. general. Um, General whoever, was, whoever was president after Lincoln was probably somehow involved in the that war. Was John, Johnson. I mean, was well, that was Johnson. He was the vice president, though. He was the vice president who became president when he died. So yes. Garfield. I have no idea. Garfield. Garfield. All good guesses. Uh, Let's put it down for the moment. Jefferson. You know, if you can think of any know. names for. Um, our, you know, army equipment, those are probably good. Oh, good idea. Name something. Or, or buildings. Or schools. Yeah. Like Fort Jackson, so that would be that. Um, yeah, no. Oh, you know, some of the earlier ones might have been generals in their, their state, but when the colonies militia. Because uh, it just has held General Admiral for the rank. It doesn't say in the United States. What about Adams? So I don't I'm, think Adams was. But I'm wondering Adams about... Adams was a lawyer. I yeah, no, but Jefferson might have been. When you said Jefferson, that's... Jefferson. What about Van Buren? Buchanan? I don't think Jefferson was either. Hmm. What about Buchanan? The bachelor president. Oh, good memory, but I don't, don't know. I don't know. I will never forget that, Buchanan. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have... We don't have Lincoln on there, do we? No, he Lincoln, wasn't a general. Lincoln was not. He was, never he was, he was never a general. He was never in the military. He was a self-taught lawyer and and a, a little known uh, vampire hunter. Oh yeah, we forgot about that. Uh, that's that's obvious. So we haven't picked any admirals. Can you think of anything that might have been an admiral? No. Because he did include admiral in there. He did. That's How about... Um, Were there any admirals? There must have been an admiral, or he wouldn't have included uh, it in the... the brigadier general. Yeah, who would be? Well, brigadier general is an admiral officer rank. 
one star major general two star I don't think there's been a lot recently. I think Eisenhower might have been the last one, right? And then right, yeah, he was Eisenhower. president right after World War One, because usually Wilson? after a war, Bridge? Wilson. Wilson was an academic. Roosevelt. So, but after Roosevelt. World War One, Roosevelt. Roosevelt wasn't went to the Spanish American War. Roosevelt. Roosevelt. No, Roosevelt. No, Franklin Roosevelt. He had polio. He was never. Who's, who's watching Ukraine videos? Oh, sorry. Thank you. Um, um, following oh. the War of 1812, possibly there was someone. We had some uh -huh. admiral action in the War of 1812. Fillmore? Miller Fillmore, Admiral Fillmore. I suspect, especially from his comment about he doesn't expect anyone to get it that we're going to have some very obscure people here. And that's not surprising because being a good general doesn't make you a good president. Yeah, like- And some of the worst or, presidents are probably the people we're talking about. Um, and I'm thinking of people like Tyler, maybe. Or McKinley. Tyler is the one that had all those babies, remember? John yeah. Tyler was the one who had- Two wives. A child so, at the age of 75 or something. Tippy Canoe and Tyler too was the campaign slogan. What oh, is yeah. That what is, like... Was that a battle, Tippy Canoe or something? No, yeah, it was yeah. a political, no, it was a political, um, uh, it was a political thing. There was two, can there was a Tyler and there was, uh, it was like a campaign slogan. Yeah, but I think, I think you're onto something, Rob, because Tippy Canoe was the candidate for president and that was Harrison. Tyler, too, was because he was vice president. And it was when Harrison died, Tyler became president. So maybe it's Harrison. The canoe might have been a battle in the war. That's what so I was thinking. I, so Harrison? I think Harrison. Harrison was, I'm fine with that. I don't know. Harrison. How about more Any of the Mount Rushmore guys? <clears throat> oh, who's on there? Oh, that's Washington. Roosevelt, Washington, Lincoln. Lincoln. Uh, I'm thinking it's going to be somebody less. Okay. I mean, the big presidents who became uh, the who became presidents are Grant and Eisenhower, Washington. These are famous generals and famous presidents. I think the people we have left are going to be obscure, like Harrison and Garfield. Franklin Pierce. Franklin mm -hmm. Pierce. And Franklin Pierce is up there. Okay. Yeah. What was Franklin Pierce? We already have. It. So, um, I don't know what he was, but McKinley, yeah. he was only in office for a very Taft short time. Not, no, Taft was the only president to be president and Supreme Court justice. Okay. Um, um, want to do McKinley? I'm thinking Admiral McKinley. He was in office for such a short that's time. Good. That's he, was, good. Uh, he could have been. Yeah, he died. I saw his mountain, assassin. but now it's not his mountain anymore. I have a shirt that says Mount McKinley on it that doesn't exist anymore. Oh, where Denali. is Mount McKinley in it's Alaska? Alaska? It's Alaska. Denali now. It's Mount Denali. 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 Really? When when did that happen? Sometime I, after I went, which was something like eight years ago. Oh, but I, it happened in the Obama administration. Oh, yeah, they did rename it. I remember Obama that now. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah, it's 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 odd because it's still it's still. Um, what about when I when I went, there was Denali National, National Park, but Mount McKinley. Now what it's they, Denali National Park and Truman Mount Denali. Truman have been an admiral. No, hmm? Truman was not. He was a he was a lawyer. I think he was just a civilian. Yeah, he was a he was a lawyer. He was a nice guy too. Military bearing, military background. Uh. <sighs> Well, there's Zachary. He's going to record that sound. Yeah, we're going to get like five, maybe, or six if we're lucky. Millard Fillmore. Yeah, you don't know about like, Millard Fillmore. That's like the most horrible name. Yeah, hell, put it, put it down. How about Harding? Do we know anything about Orgy Harding? Uh, Harding? Harding was, was famous before and very, very popular until he totally blew it as president. What about yeah. Harding? Maybe, and but, often military is a way to get that way. Yeah, so put Harding. <laughs> okay, one more. We can do this, you guys. Pierce? Oh, we already got him. Um, Jefferson? 
whether it they Thomas were Thomas Jefferson, Jefferson, Thomas Jefferson was, was never military. in the military. Jefferson was a diplomat. I don't think he was ever in the military. Did he fight in the revolutionary? No, war? Jefferson did not. He was no. not. No, he no, was, uh, he was, you, he was busy you, negotiating and going to France and getting the support and stuff. The, the opening law, the opening um song in Act Two of Hamilton. Oh my god, is, we're gonna get it. What did I miss? What did I miss when Thomas Jefferson comes back from France and the Revolutionary War is over? Right. Don't get her started on Hamilton. Oh Lord. <laughs> oh, 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 we know about the ham ham, okay. Um <laughs> All right, we need one more. Something obscure, you guys. Well, well yeah, Trump, think... Trump said he knew more than all the generals, so <laughs> yeah. maybe that makes They're just gonna say that'd be obscure. Let's go with Miller <laughs> Fillmore. Fillmore. Is he the president? Yeah. Do you think somebody yeah. besides Fillmore? I mean, put it down if we don't have anything else, but it just doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel right because he doesn't ever feel like something that we should be putting. Brigadier in. General Fillmore. Uh, oh, that doesn't sound right. Um, can we think he of had, a, he had to have something going for him, had to become president, right? James K. Polk, his wife, Ben Card, playing in the White House. Ooh, Admiral you? Polk. I think he was a lawyer, though. Okay. Wasn't he? Probably. I, Probably. I don't know. Why did she ban card playing? Was it of the devil? Yes, that's exactly why she did the soul of the devil all and stuff like that too. I remember while reading my world book encyclopedia about all the presidents up till Kennedy because that's where it stopped. I don't understand how you guys remember this. It's one thing to know this stuff at one point, but to remember because, this years later because you read it somewhere doesn't make sense to me. I don't understand how this I memory said, works. That you I spent an annoyingly long amount of time reading the world book encyclopedia because when it was raining outside and the tv wouldn't work because all we had was the antenna with the little coat hanger you didn't go and take them. <laughs> you know and, you had, and then you had to have the pliers to turn the dial you remember this you that's that what you get how is that possible hey i'm with this susan I lived that same childhood. I, but I, I don't read. I love those books. My favorite one was the one with all the clothing, where you could look at all the different little outfits and stuff, like you know the folk. Clothes, I read all these the things too. The wedding outfit, you know, that thousands I read. Thousands of wanted. books, but I don't remember this. I can't you know, remember what I texted best, earlier today. One of the best. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember. I'm with you, Andy. Well, because pulp that it just fascinated me because she banned all this stuff. Like it's like she was a little prude. I don't remember that story. Yeah, Can you give be... another military president? There's 13. We've got 10 guesses. Yeah. That surprises me. It's that many, actually. That's a good percentage. Well, it's been 47, 46. 48. Yeah, so Zachary Taylor. Ooh. Taylor. I don't think Taylor was a military person. He's too busy having babies anyway. No, that's oh. Tyler. Oh, Tyler? Mm. Zachary Taylor and Zachary Tyler. That's how we, we confused it last time. We got that one wrong because we had oh. Tyler, Taylor instead of Tyler. <laughs> you know, one of, the, one of the best cartoons I ever saw was a little kid looking at his grandfather's set of Encyclopedia Britannica. And he said, Grandpa, all these books look the same. He said, well, it's an encyclopedia. And the little five-year-old said, really? Someone took the time to print out the whole thing? <laughs> uh -huh. I don't get it. Yeah. Little kid today? I think it's Wikipedia. Oh, I don't get right? it. <laughs> encyclopedia. Encyclopedia is the things you see online, not things you and see. Wikipedia is basically the encyclopedia of all the things. We've got okay. that one. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I wait, everything's going over my head tonight. I think we're done, Carl. One. Yeah, I, well, the one minute warning's already up. We're going to be going. I well, no, I, I gave a two minute warning to the one minute warning. Oh, I don't ever see so that. Little... I haven't closed anything yet. <sighs> Go ahead, unless you think. No, I got another minute before the one minute warning. We've got. I wanted, yes. this, this, I wanted to make sure if anybody was going to complain that they'd have plenty of time to complain. Yeah. <laughs> this is a hard one. It's a oh, hard one. Oh, so it isn't, it isn't, oh, he's gone. It isn't like this is a piece of freaking cake. It's a hard one, so the guesses have to be But there's only 47 choices, right? And we know that the last- No, it's right. less than 47 choices, because we know some- 43. Well, the, at least the last 10 are not in there. So 
it shouldn't be this hard. That's why I think we might have gotten done better than we think, because we had some few left. How about Cleveland? I don't know much Grover about Grover Cleveland. Was he a lawyer too? I don't think he was a general. Admiral Cleveland. Usually, the people he is a, he was very much a politician because he ran for office, lost, and went back for a second term after losing. Something that would never happen today, I don't think. At least I hope not. Um, yeah, but girls. Usually, the people who were pre who become president because they were popular back when technology didn't make it easy to get popular would be military people. And I think the names we have are the right era for that. Yeah, because Kennedy was the first one to have the televised debate. Right. Oh, and I had a category on televised on on de on presidential debates year one years ago. <laughs> one of our first categories I remember was on. I remember that's that. why nobody like Churchill has gotten elected again. <laughs> I'm gonna have to revisit some of my old categories. I don't can't even remember no. things anymore. All right, now I think we've guess. made as good a guess. Oh, as yeah, I, I think, think we did a good job of guessing. Mm -hmm. And we know, I we, know we had at least four of them, right? Yes. Which is bet which will not be our worst score for tonight. Hey, keep tonight. in mind that he said that the next category is going to be similar to this one, so I'm a little scared. So you better. So we can't look it up. We have to look up. Look at my freesias. It's you know, probably going to be more stuff about presidents. Yeah. Or about generals. Oh We're God, about the Canadian generals. Andy, you better be on. You're a ringer. Huh. That was hard. Not for wow. us, apparently. Wow. All right. Canadians did well, huh? Leonard, no, do you want to message me who you want to take off? It's the Americans. I think it was really about to take off. It's hard. Hard. Okay, you guys got your answer off? All right. So. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, Peggy, you guys have decided? Before, yeah. Okay. Before right, I read off. the answers off, I'll just let you know that uh, I basically checked over half a dozen different sources to make sure this is correct. Please do not discuss what you think was the right answer because you may inadvertently give help to other teams for the next round. So if you, if you have an answer that isn't correct, trust me, it's not correct. And don't say it out loud because you might help someone for the next round. Okay. We don't want to do that. Okay. First one, oh. George Washington who was held the rank initially of general and commander in chief of the army of the United Colonies and all the forces raised or to be raised by them as his first official general rank. Then uh, at a time when they thought that af after his presidency, when they thought we might go to war with France, Congress made him a Lieutenant general in the United States army. And then in 1978, he was posthumously promoted retroactive to July 4th, 1776, to the highest rank in the United States military of General of the Armies of the United States of America, which effectively is a six star rank, though it doesn't actually have a six star logo. Hmm. I didn't know that. Only, only, see one, the only one saying ever... that General Washington is three of the answers. No, I'm just giving you. <laughs> oh, please. That would, that would be, that be great. Awesome. Did, he, did, he get a did he get a raise? Did he get a raise? I'm just providing a little bit of history trivia along with the answer. Okay. Did he get, did he get a raise? Okay. Right. He, he didn't get a raise. raise. Didn't get a raise. Okay. His, got, current, he, his current salary in 1978 yeah. was doubled. Yeah. Yes. He got, new, he got new wooden teeth. Yes. He's, he's only one of two officers ever to hold that rank of General of the Armies of the United States of America. And the Who next the other? guy was never president. And he's on the quarter forever. Mm -hmm. Number two, Maybe. and these, these are going in order of descending rank, by the way. Number two, Dwight David Eisenhower, a general of the army, five-star rank. Number three, Ulysses S. Grant was the third person in the United States Army ever to hold the rank of lieutenant general and the first person to ever hold that rank permanent since George Washington. He's also the first officer in the United States military ever to hold the four-star general rank. And by the way, uh, the, when I said admirals and generals, that was a bit of a deception because no admiral has ever become president. 
Look, at, look at the kitty behind Carl. Hi, kitty. Yeah, hi. The kitty having a good time. The right answer. Number four, Andrew Jackson was a major general, two-star general. Was he a modern major general? Yes, he was. <laughs> a very model. A very, very model of a modern major general. Not Andrew Jackson. Hey, oh, where'd you get that? That's a great category, by the way. My, my, my cat found a milk ring from a milk jug and has been playing with it. <laughs> Number five, William H. Harrison, Major General, two-star U.S. Army. <clears throat> Number six, Zachary Taylor, Major General, two-star U.S. Army. Number seven, Rutherford B. Hayes, Brevet Major General of Volunteers, two-star U.S. Army Volunteers. Number eight, everybody's favorite cat, James A. Garfield, Major General of Volunteers, U.S. Army Volunteers. Number nine is the one you will not find in most lists but it is absolutely correct. And I have quadruple checked this, but there's a reason why it's not in most lists. William H. Taft, Major General of the American Red Cross under the jurisdiction of the War Department. In 1917, President Wilson conferred military ranks on executives of the Red Cross as a way to provide them with additional authority, authority to use in carrying out their wartime responsibilities. And Taft was appointed, appointed a Major General. Huh. Wow. Red Cross. <laughs> <laughs> Full rank and authority thereof, Major General. Franklin Pierce, Brigadier, one star general, U.S. Army in the New Hampshire, New Hampshire militia. Caspian's going to be so upset he missed this category. 11? Yeah, we were thinking of him. He would have been. Chester A. Arthur, Brigadier General, of the New York State Militia. And before so he was vice, hmm? I didn't hear anybody who was actually an admiral in there. Then there are was. none. There are none. It's too no to throw us we off. Were, we, we were racking our brains trying to think of an admiral. Number twelve. Before he became vice president for Lincoln's second term, Andrew Johnson was a brigadier general in the U.S. Army. Didn't he come up twice? That was Andrew Jackson. And 13, the other Harrison, Benjamin Harrison, Brigadier General in the U.S. Army of the Indiana State Militia. All the presidents, Harrison. Yes. So not McKinley? Not a general. Okay. So there is your 13 general presidents. I'm afraid to say anything. Because <laughs> I don't know what the next category is going to be. But let's do our score. Is it generally unlucky? Because it's oh, okay. It could be. Who knows? It could be General Mills cereals, if I know Carl. <laughs> but I don't know what that would have to do with this, except for General. The okay. related category. We've never had a category, related category before intentionally. All right. So let's all their go. wives' names. Oh, God. <laughs> no. Okay. So let's start with the team in the last place, which is mine. <laughs> you didn't oh, monkey dishwashers, how did we do? We had seven. Oh, that's good. That's very that's good. good. I'm shocked. Very I'm good. shocked. Look, we're in for the, we're tied for second place. <laughs> Stop that count. Stop that count. Okay, 50-50 for now. Seven. Or nine, 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 nine. Nine, wow. Stupid people. Well done. Get Very it. nice. Whatever. They don't get golf rules, do they? No, we <laughs> seem to be lacking candidates with answers. Nine. Oh, man. I hate people. Look at that. I am impressed. Oh, I am. Oh, the Project Hell Mary Spoilers Brigade. Five. That's better. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> <Better>. <laughs> I'm 
they're not competitive at all. Uh, Thank goodness. They shoot horses, don't they? We got seven, oh, and it's man. my fault. We could have eight, but I'm an idiot. Okay. <laughs> Wait, you get a bonus. You get a bonus point. Can I quote though. you on that? Look yeah. That. Gonna... We were really close to being all close together. Stupid had to go. Fault. Had to go and get high scores. I know. For Jeez, wrong with those okay. ripasings. Um, what's what's Rob turning into? Damn presidents. Where's Rob? He's oh, he's turn- like he's like a blob or something. He's like yeah, a he's, what is that? He's a ghost in jail. Ooh. <laughs> okay. All right. We're on the a roll. final bonus round. 13 U.S. presidents have never had any form of military service whatsoever. That includes regular military service, the reserves, national or state guards, or militias, or Red Cross under the War Department. Name any 10 non-serving presidents. Ah, this is going to be a quick one. (laughs) Uh, Non-serving presidents. Okay, wait. 13 U.S. have never had any form of military service whatsoever. Oh, I see. And, And to be clear, the service includes even militias that existed before the United States of America was formed. So, so somebody served in a, in a colonial militia, they are not eligible for this list. What are you calling this category? Non-serving presidents. So you said how many were in this category? Total of 13. 13. Now does ROTC count? No. Does commander in chief count? Sorry, what? No. No. Yeah. That is a civilian. <laughs> that, would, that would eliminate a few. There's zero then. <laughs> okay. Let's go. All right. 13, huh? Okay. Make sure to call us back in like two minutes. Right. <laughs> Can't right. Go. Brad. She's going to do that good, huh? Well, we got to outscore Karen. Oh, uh, we. You can also do the best at it, so it's not okay. good. Okay. Who's got this? Who's yeah. making a list? Somebody's gonna make a Yale's list. Gonna make the list. Yeah. What about okay. Trump? Don't forget Trump, Gail. Trump, Obama. Obama. Yeah. John Adams. Oh, don't make them all caps. That's scary. No, that was which <laughs> one? John at regular John Adams. John Adams. Regular John Adams. Yeah. Okay, letter yeah. type Trump. Trump. Okay. Thomas Jefferson. Obama. George W. Bush. Ramirez said he was in the Coast Guard. Bush. Yeah. George W. Bush was in the Coast Guard. He was in some kind of military because he, sure? he was in the You're Coast Guard in order to avoid the military. Yeah, both both of the Bushes were. Uh, in some yeah, I knew, I knew the father. How about was. Clinton? Clinton. Nixon. Clinton. What about, Clinton what about, was never in the military. Never. What about Reagan? He was an actor. He was an actor. Yeah. He was old uh, when he was. Yeah. He Nixon. Kennedy. Why are we not putting? Oh, Nixon? Kennedy, Kennedy was, was definitely uh, in the Navy. Kennedy was in the Navy. PT boat. PT one oh. Okay. Yeah, but I think Franklin Delano Roosevelt, FDR, he had polio. They wouldn't have taken him. Yeah. Right. Did 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 Biden have any service? Yes. His son has been. I don't think he has. Has he? Biden had. Oh. No, I don't think he has. But his sons have been in the military. Yeah, he was. He's been a politician the whole time. He was in politics when he was very. He was like a teenager practically, right? Yeah. Although I guess he could have shared a short. Oh, look at that! Oh. We could, we we outdid Karen in two minutes, less than two minutes. You guys are awesome. Reagan put an A N at the end of it. Oh, R-E-A-N. sorry, I knew that. I wouldn't have known how to spell it, so don't so don't feel bad. No, I I I, I it underlined it to tell me I was wrong. Um. So we got it. Is there anything else you could think of that we would? Well, Carter would have been on here, right? Yeah, Carter would. Too. Jimmy Truman Carter was in the military. No, no, no. Jimmy no. Carter was in the military. What yeah. about Ford? Uh, I think he was in the military. And Johnson. LBJ. Um, LBJ Johnson. was he in the military, honey? I don't think so. Corey says LBJ not in the military. Well, somebody somebody might have been given a rank of some sort that was like you know. Well, he said there's three more that we don't have up here. He is saying these are people that have not served, not that they were given ranks. Okay. Um, And for Adams, we should probably say which Adams. John Adams. John Adams. John Adams. It was John Adams and John Quincy Adams. John Quincy. I don't know about. Be clear if they had an official military rank that would be considered to have served. 
What? So well, if they if, were appointed, or if somebody gave them a rank afterwards, you mean? If they, what? If they, during their lifetime, actually, I mean, so they were for given instance, an honorary one is what you're saying. No, well, not honor. So, for instance, if somebody was, they got a DD put in some administrative a... role somewhere, and 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 made a, a captain, but never actually went to war and never actually went overseas or anything. But they were actually in the military or the militia or the guard or whatever. So this means nothing. No military service is what your no military question is. credit. Yeah. Yes. If and they no, didn't get no, issued a DD-14, they didn't serve. What's a DD-14? That's your discharge papers. It tells you if you were honorably or dishonorably discharged. Ah, what if they served and were dishonorably DD-4- discharged, then you wouldn't get that form. Uh, well, but I don't think they were really much better than Everybody on our list. Did George Washington get this DD-4? No. The DD-214. That wasn't created. Good point, from there. You, you, hush. you don't even know that. You can't even be president, so hush. Ooh. Yes, I can. I'm old enough and I was born yeah. here. No, 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 no. Um. <laughs> Well, you know, I don't know. Obama wasn't born here and he became president. So maybe Obama's <laughs> mother was a U.S. citizen. Obama could have been born on the moon and he still would have had birthright, okay? It's true. And, and nobody questioned um, John McCain being it born in that. Oh, no, he was questioned. It was questioned. Ted Cruz. Not really. Ted Cruz, yeah. Are Ted you Cruz. sure Reagan didn't serve in any... He could have. I mean, maybe when he was young. Before he was an actor or... Yeah. I'm wondering if FDR awesome. got some sort of a rank because of the war. He was in, yeah, I kind of wonder if. So he, I think but, Ronald uh, Reagan might have had some kind of service too. Okay, so give us another better choice. Carter, we said, was in, right? Carter was definitely in the Navy. In the Navy. In the Navy. Um, did we think LBJ was? We didn't know. It seems like yeah. it would have been. It's so hard to believe that somebody would be able to get in to be president. Oh, 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 oh we said before, Truman. Truman. He was a lawyer. Yeah. Now she, take out Reagan or FDR and put. You know, take out FDR. Don't you think? No, he FDR had, had polio. FDR had polio. He I know, but he could have been sir. He could have had a. No. 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 You don't think they would have given him some kind of ranking or like no. he was the Harry Truman? I remember Buttigieg said one of the reasons he joined the military is because he wanted to be president someday. And traditionally, presidents have served in some sort of military action. Who are you talking right. about? And they, Buttigieg. Buttigieg said Who's that? one of the reasons. Who, what? Who's that? Buttigieg. 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 Was running for president. And very, young, very popular and one was winning until he's now our well, he's now the secretary infrastructure or something oh i don't know who that is and oh, he's, come he's, on. Judge. he's gay dude he's oh, one of the is. smartest people that has ever run for president he's like the first openly gay candidate we've ever had for what for president, president. Like, he just he, ran against Trump. Good lord, Rob. Oh, he won that. the first two primaries. You don't know who Democratic Pete primary. Judge is? No, I don't know the name you're saying. He's That's a French. transportation guy. I'll French tell you how good he is. He was on a, on a talk Ooh, show yeah. when he was running, and someone at, said that he resembled um, the fellow from Mad Magazine, Alfred, New, New, Alfred G. Newman. Uh-huh. And he said, yeah. what do you think about that? And off the top of his head, because he certainly didn't expect that question, he said, well, if I have created a situation where Trump is making literary references, that's wonderful. <laughs> Buddha judge. I, maybe you were saying it and you don't recognize the word. But He's Mayor Pete. You know who he is. Mayor Pete from Mayor Indianapolis, Pete. Indiana. I don't know who he is. He's messing with you. Rob, well, he, he will be president of the United Rob States. Rob is doing a, oh, well, I don't uh, so. uh, a Blues Brothers thing. He's saying he doesn't know it just because he's being contrary. No, I don't know who he is. Some things just escape your attention. I that is not possible. He's to be the highest ranking uh, nominee before Biden took over. So, so say, say this again about Biden and him, what? He was, had the highest number of delegates when Biden wiped him Are we going to take Truman the, off the list, Gail? No, no, we're keeping Truman on. I think we just Truman. put him on. Keep okay, Truman. that's what I was thinking. Okay, because I was wondering if that's what y'all were arguing about. 
No, no. We're, we're arguing just, over we Rob not knowing. Rob doesn't know who Buttigieg was. Yeah, that's that. silly. I don't remember that. I, th I thought um, what's her face from New England had the highest number of delegates before. No, he months. had, he won, Buttigieg won New Hampshire. He won Iowa. He lost when he, he, he lost when he got to, to South Carolina. And when Biden won by an overwhelming, and, and he, he came in second or third in Nevada. And then when he got to South Carolina, he was totally wiped out and he's the first mm. one to resign. Right. So, so what you guys don't realize is I live in New Jersey. New Jersey votes last. Whoever we're going to vote for has already been nominated. I bet Andy even knows. So who. I never Andy, pay attention to the primaries. Andy, you know who Pete Buttigieg is? Mayor Pete. No, I don't. <laughs> Played by Colin Jost in Saturday Night no. Live. Ah. Oh my but, no, so seriously, that is the problem. New Jersey votes in the like last, and basically they've already figured out because all the other states have practically voted who's going to be the nominee. So I don't really care. I don't yeah, it would it's be a fundamental three months problem of, with our whole nomination. Right, three process. months of watching the news, you know, with wanting a candidate to win, and you've got nothing to say about it, and they fall whatever, and you use nothing you can do about it. He was so, he I don't, was so I don't good. generally pay any attention. He, he will be a president the secretary someday. of the treasury. You would be very impressed with him if you'd see him talking mm. on something. And, and therefore, none of the charge candidates. of all that money that they just that they put into into. He interest. will be president someday. I yes, think. he will be president. Unless someday. there's some scandal that happens in the next. Mm. 10, he won't be involved in a scandal. It might be twenty years from now, but he's going to become a president. I think, or at least. Or, uh, none of the candidates for nomination ever panned to, to New Jersey. Nope. Nope. And reason I know it so well is we are Nevada is the third state to hold a primary, and we are first in the West. <laughs> so we're very big. She's all proud. <laughs> in the West, I follow all that presidential stuff like crazy because that's just how our household is. Mm -hmm. uh, but the time it gets here, it's 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 ninety nine percent of the time it's it's the people who are going to win, and there that's it. There's nothing you can do about it. When do you guys vote? Is it after California or is it's it the, la the last group of states? Well, that's the, like when California votes, isn't it? Whatever that is. Uh, when Robin, is that right? I don't know. The, the, when California votes, it's like the big group of them. I'm going to have to look it up again. Actually, I think we had a, a category on this whole subject. <laughs> we should be so smart. If we could only have a memory to remember, yes. my brain is not large enough. I mean, if I put something in over here, I guess. it's exactly what happened with the joke. Exactly. You put it in a new bit of information, you go, that is so interesting, but it's going to push something else out. There's like a limited <laughs> amount of room. Yeah. And I have lost so much over the last month by reading this ARP com stuff, Susan. Oh, <laughs> last couple of months. Oh, yeah. All, Nothing's, all there's the nothing new posted, I don't think, since we've been here. Mm. I think they're all asleep. They must be all UK people. Yeah, it could be. Because there's nothing. I'll get up in the morning. And there'll be like. Oh, all right, ten, fifteen seconds left. Good luck. All team. right, good job, team. You guys. So we only we great. only have to get. Thank you. Okay, so before I get to the last, before we get to the answers, I just want to um, let you guys know that we have Adrian and Rob next week, and I need three more. So don't make me. I'll do one. I haven't done one in a while. I'll do one. Is it all here? Yeah, I'll do. A, can I do like a third or fourth one? Yeah, just to be safe, because I have work until six o'clock, and I normally go to dinner Ooh. afterwards. So I'm normally hey. not back in the room until like seven. Bonus. We'd love to have you. I need a bonus. Did you, did you get me for a round or yes. not? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're three. Robin Robin's says raising bonus. her hand. Billy Joel. Okay. Oh. Nope. I did that one already. It's done. Very good. Thank you. I'm done. All right. Who's so doing bonus? Robin. Oh. Everybody knows there's only 10 things about Billy Joel. <laughs> <laughs> We've all been studying Bad Billy hat. Joel for ages. Every time we know that, that Kevin might be doing a category, we come up with a Billy Joel. Somebody's got to read the I'm going to do page. Billy Joel's ex-wives. Oh. Uptown <laughs> girl. All right. Oh. That's one. So. I don't know her name. Christy Brinkley. Oh, that's it. You know that, but you don't know who Pete Buttigieg is? That's right. <laughs> that's sad. 
I didn't have a picture. I didn't have a picture of Pete Buttigieg on my uh, wall when I was a younger. I didn't know Ode to a Superhero. South Bend, Indiana. Pete's legs are not quite as nice. I don't understand. Mm. Never seen Blues Brothers and doesn't know who Pete Buttigieg is. Rob, how? I I think the 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 Buttigieg thing is nothing compared to the Blues Brothers. I know. I have to agree strongly. Rob may be the only entity in that Venn diagram center section, though. (laughs) The only person who's never (laughs) What would his third thing be? I got to move my Zoom image away from him. You need to see this movie. This doesn't make sense. I know. (laughs) All right. So since this is the last round, if you have any questions about someone you think did or didn't serve, you can ask questions now. I think it's I Love Lucy is the third thing he's never seen. So. um, (laughs) Who? Who, Susan? (laughs) Who do you love? The answer is Ricky Ricardo. Um, Got some splaining to do. Both of the Adams boys, John Adams, John Quincy Adams, Martin Van Buren, Grover Cleveland, Woodrow Wilson, Warren Harding, Uh-oh. Calvin Coolidge, Herbert Hoover, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Bill Clinton, Barack Obama, Donald Trump, and Leonard, did you guys stick with Joe Biden? We did. Yeah. Yeah. Because Joe Biden. We did. Whoa. Well done, Leonard. I didn't keep a list of what we did, but I think we did well. I'm, I'm looking here. Uh, we didn't get Van Buren. Wait a minute. Is Lincoln not on here? Lincoln Lincoln served. He was, in, Lincoln he was served. in he in the Mexican Black War. Mexican War, I think, yeah. or oh, yeah. Yeah. Black no. What was yeah. Jefferson doing, Carl? Jefferson was a diplomat. Yeah, Jefferson. Yes, and Jefferson served as a colonel in the Virginia militia. Doing yeah. administrative duty. Oh, oh he schooled oh, us. Right. Carl did his research now, and he didn't just use Wikipedia. Uh, what yeah. about Nixon? Nixon? Nixon was a Navy guy, I believe. Yep. Let me yes, he was. A lawyer. He was a Quaker. That's oh, odd. That he served 1942 to 45 in various islands in the South Pacific and commanded scat oh. units in the South Pacific. And he was a very bad Quaker. Oh, crap. Uh, yeah. There was a lot of Quaker's. I don't remember the military. Truman? What was Truman in? Well, how did FDR? Truman was in World War One. He was a decorated World War One war hero. What about FDR? Colonel. He did well, not. FDR is on the list. FDR's FDR is on the list. Serve, yeah. uh, FDR Ronald, Ray, Ronald Reagan. Yeah, we got FDR Gale. Ronald Reagan served and was in war films. To only <laughs> served as FDR a captain. FDR is correct. War films. FDR is correct, Gale. Oh, okay. Franklin D. Roosevelt. He's on the oh, list. Lord. What about Truman? Oh. Truman was in World War I. He was a colonel. Clinton. Clinton did not serve. Okay. Where did Reagan serve? But he did inhale. Re- Reagan, <laughs> Reagan served as, as starring in war films and, and raising money for bonds and stuff. Because he was an actor, remember? He was, so he, from was... Combat. he was barred from combat because of poor eyesight. I, I don't understand about Lincoln. I just watched the documentary, uh, Abraham Lincoln, Vampire Hunter. Illinois, nothing Illinois about State himself. Militia, Black Hawk War. <laughs> There's nothing about that. The Did Black the Hawk Illinois War. State Militia and the Black Hawk War. He was a vampire hunter. Yeah, what more? That was a whole branch of the military. But that was Bob. secret, underground. He didn't have any rank or that. Oh. Well, of course he did. Come on now. How do you think you're hunting vampires without, <sighs> without being in the military? Secret. You have to know all that stuff. He was a five-star oh, yeah, vampire all. hunter. Uh, he's he's had for less Rob, than three Rob months on the list. And Rob, yeah. have you ever seen I Love Lucy? Of course. Oh, damn. There was something that you hadn't seen. I don't know what it was. There's I'm about Carl, to watch the, the movie. Carl, Trump Ricardo, and Obama so. were also on the list. Trump Who? and Obama were also on the list of okay. non serving presidents. Non serving. Okay. Hey, how many people oh, have not seen Shawshank Redemption? Mm, I've seen it once I did. oh you've got to see that Rob. it's it. only it's one time you can watch that don't watch it a second time no it's you should watch it a second time it's even wonderful. better wonderful it's a surprising film. number of hands went up uh, it's really awful oh, it's, all, it's good but it's awful oh, okay, two guys in my office never saw it Great i don't want to i don't want to be depressed i don't want to see yeah, it's movies. really it's not depressing. Depressing. i've never it's seen not, it, it, it ends it's not nice. depressing it has a happy ending i'm sorry but that's a horrible scary depressing they do it is it it's a great movie. It's one of the greatest movies ever. They drive the truck off the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> and for your information, the most recent president to have served was George W. Bush, who served as a first lieutenant flying in F-102 in the Air National Guard and man- managing to somehow avoid being deployed to Vietnam. 
Mm-hmm. Yep. <laughs> yep. I wonder how. That's bullshit. Mission how accomplished. Did, how did you, how did that happen? All right. So here's our scores. Here's where we are at the moment. So let's see who will be the pride and joy of game number 95, because there will never, ever be another 95 again. So (coughs) let's start with the team that has at the top of the list for no reason other than that they happen to be at the top of the list and I'm on it. And Purple monkey dishwasher. Bottom of the list. So all we need is to get 10 and no one else will get anything. (laughs) negative numbers and you will tie, you can tie. Seven. right so what is it i think we got six we had seven we missed only three of them i got Give john seven. adams obama trump uh fdr and biden and clinton what else did we get we had seven well i, I had who did you have who did you have down gail john adams obama trump fdr biden and clinton who else do you think we have all right, I have to. Um, I can't get at it to see it until I am covering my, you're covering my screen. Okay, it's seven. It's seven. Yeah, I'll, I will tell you as soon as she stops covering my okay, screen. Okay, 50 50 for now. We have eight. Uh. Damn. Um, let's go with uh, we seem to be lacking candidates with answers. Seven. Surprisingly Ooh. close. Ooh, tie. All right. So Project Hail Mary, Spoilers Brigade. Six. No, I'm kidding. Oh. Can we not say numbers when other people are saying numbers, please? Eight. Eight. Ooh. One. Yeah. Ooh. So Deborah, Kevin, Leonard, number. Mike, and Peggy. They oh. shoot horses, don't they? What'd you get? Eight. Minus, minus Why do you guys five. sound so depressed? <laughs> Eight. We should have had ten. Oh, well, we don't care. We hate you anyway. <laughs> <laughs> well, would we'll you shoot another horse? She's like, I, I well, love we your could have had ten. We should have had more. Hey, well, we had. So for Rob, we missed with Jefferson, Truman, and Nixon. Those were the only ones we had that were wrong. We had Reagan on there, and Reagan was not on the list. We took Reagan off. So which? So names, name, name seven, Gail. Lincoln, Adams, Trump, Obama, Clinton. Lincoln NPR. is not on the list. Lincoln, Lincoln is, is not, not on the list, list Gail. We got six. Oh, oh man! And, and a penalty. And a penalty. And a penalty. Anyway, and a penalty. Still in last place. Yeah. <laughs> well done, Carl. Thank you. Oh, yes. Interesting Good night, Carl. Good so, job, Carl. I appreciate it. If you're interested, you. throughout, scattered throughout the chat is a copy of every single round somewhere if you actually want yeah. to download it for any reason. Oh, my goodness. And this will be on YouTube, so. No, I guess at some point, I should probably learn the U.S. president. <laughs> yeah, I, I need, I need and their book. wives. I need a, a book to read Wikipedia. Like, oh, presidents. I don't know presidents. And we kept saying that to each other, going, well, maybe if we just learned who all the presidents were. <laughs> and their wives and their yeah. children. And the state. And what ranks they had. Stuff. And I, I, I've schools done, they went to. There's a lot of stuff to learn. I've done three of the New England states. There's three left. So that might be a hint, but I might be just throwing you off. So you oh. Know, oh, that's true. He's done. He's I, done. And if we won, we weren't going to say this, but since we didn't win, I'm going to tell you the end of Project Hail Mary. <laughs> All of the lead characters meet up together on a beach and live happily ever after with the money that they stole from the farmer park. Right. It was all a dream. It was all a they dream. Working they working out. After, and the after the truck, the truck. Which, after the truck went off the cliff. Oh, you forgot about the car chase. They're working yeah. on a yeah. boat on the beach, right? Yeah. They're working on a boat. It's all about hope. Car chase. Yeah. 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 I have to go. So. Bye. All right. Thanks for hanging out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Three new Thanks players. I appreciate you guys you. came by. I hope you come back. The link is on my yeah. Facebook page, and this is what it's like. And <laughs> thank you. <laughs> and we guys, but I appreciate you guys coming by. It was thank really nice to meet you. Thank you, Fika. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Fika. Even if you can't make the whole right. game, we nice sure would love you. to have you back. Good to see everybody. Okay, so I'm going to put this up on YouTube. Good night, all. Thank you, Carl. Great work. We'll see you guys next week. See you guys in two weeks. I got to watch the Blues Brothers. And everybody better watch the Blues Brothers. Indeed.
Watch and all the car chases. Two weeks. You're on a mission from Carl. God. Mission from <laughs> midnight yet. I tried oh. to watch it, but I was usually so stoned that I just went to sleep. <laughs> I can't believe you have Well, it. you can watch it now. Go watch it now. Many so fun. Bye, all.